What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Just before we start the episode, uh, I was meant to record this at the start of the episode. I forgot. It's now after the episode. We're putting it right at the start because that's who I am. Uh, if you're watching this on Monday, the 17th of May, uh, there are still some tickets left for tomorrow's Adam Rowe and Friends The Late Show at Hot Water Comedy Club. It's pointless having Dan sat there because A, I'm not allowing him to speak and B, he's not even on the bill. He's just doing the early show. But tomorrow, hotwatercomedy.co.uk, the 9.30pm show has got some tickets left. If you'd like to come and see me and a few of my mates do some new material, and it will be new, I promise you. Okay? Please, hotwatercomedy.co.uk. Okay? Would you encourage people to come? Please. What's happening, guys? Just before we start this week's episode, I want to let you know, if you love this podcast and you want more of it, you can get an extra episode every single week exclusively on patreon.com slash haveawordpod. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a way for you to financially support this podcast whilst also getting some benefits for yourself in return. You can sign up for three quid a month, five quid a month, 10 quid a month. And obviously the more money you give, the more benefits you get. But even if you just sign up for that three quid a month, which is the price of a fancy coffee or a pint in a ship boozer, you get an extra episode every single week exclusive no one else gets to see it apart from the patreons and you also get 24 to 48 hours early access to the public episodes as well that's what you get and on top of all of that you get access to the entire back catalog of the patreon episodes we've been doing that for like a year now there's loads of content there there's also the two lockdown lock-ins we did in this room where we got dead drunk they only go on Patreon. The ones we do in the future of them will only go on Patreon. If you support us, you get shitloads of content for us, and you can only get it at patreon.com slash haveawordpod. Go sign up now, pause it here, sign up, and then come back to this episode. It's going to be a belter. Uh, I went to the surfaces. Services? The, the surface. services. The, ser- the M56 surfaces. Yeah. Services. Yeah. Uh, just to get a uh, sugar-free Red Bull because Daddy likes to turn up in game mode. Mm -hmm. And the guy in front of me, Polish, East European, you know, the the least stylish man I've ever seen stroke one of the coolest dudes at the same time. You know, when you're like, it looks like he was from Snatch. It looks like he was a character from Snatch. He had a beer gut and a super tight polo shirt, like jean tattoos everywhere, and then like w- like gardening clogs. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And they went, oh, well, 20 mile bro red. And she went, 16 pounds. And I became the oldest man at the service station just like that. I, literally like, what am I? 16 pounds for 20 cigarettes. Got to the counter and he like fucked off to do a Guy Ritchie film or whatever. I w- and I, I, I was like, was that 16 quid for a pack of cigarettes? She's like, yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous now. And it's more expensive here because services. But yeah. Th- and they're not even the most expensive one. £18.60. Good. For 20 cigarettes. It's good. What? The actual fuck? And then you're going, it should be three grand yeah. for a pack of cigarettes. Pair cigarettes. Right. Because if you want to smoke, you should have to take out a loan. Because you're damaging your own health, your family's health, your friend's health, your stinker shit. Oh, you're Fuck horrible. You. Horrible. If you smoke, yeah. you do stinker shit. Sorry. Yeah. You, well, you stinker smoke. But shit. But, yeah. No, but your breath stinks of shit, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, because it ruins your breath. It, it's, it's fucking horrible. But my point was like, who is then going, yeah, I'll have 20 of them then. 16 quid. How long does that a- last? Addicts. Is that, is that a day's worth? I mean, like... I really like cocaine. If it was four quid, I might have more of a problem. But as it's 50, 60 quid a gram, I'm like, yeah, once in a while. 16 quid. Is that every day that he stop, stops in at the services? Well, maybe he used to smoke 40 when they were a cut a packet. It's like six grand a year. Yeah. Six grand a year. To kill yourself earlier. You could just have jump, a, just jump could, off a bridge. You could have a thin for a whole year. Oh, God. Yeah. Just jump off a bridge if you want to kill yourself quick. And Finn doesn't put his expenses through, so you could actually just hire a Finn and get him to buy you ciggies. <laughs> you can have, Finn, you could be working for an East European guy who can't dress himself, also looks like a weird cocaine dealer. Yeah, but that's not how addiction works, is it? Like, you're. Oh, so I, was, I know people get addicted to cigarettes, but I, I like the addiction, me being a tight cunt would outweigh the addiction. I'd be like, mm, I'm not paying them fucking prices. That's <laughs> ridiculous. No, I think you'd start crime to pay for it. Yeah, right. That's what happens. Maybe. Hang on, hang on, hang on, on. I think we might be talking about nicotine addiction in a different like. No one's robbing banks so they can get twenty L and B, are they? Why not? 
How do you know? <laughs> I'm just guessing. Who that, robs that, banks to buy crack? Right, I'm just saying. I'm no one's committing like, yeah. I need, I need a fix <laughs> <laughs> and a team. <laughs> you son of a bitch! I'm in. <laughs> no, I think if if you really wanted something, like you'd start yeah. just robbing old people in there. What do you reckon is the lowest, like, you know, like Lucas Aid? Th- that's what that's what I mean. Like, so like you know, like you can get addicted to heroin. Famously, right? I mean, I mean, you, yeah, you're always going to mention it because you work on the board of heroin. I think you are a consultant would you, for uh, big heroin. Would you Would you try heroin? Oh, for the <laughs> love of shit. I would rather talk about putting all my children and my wife in a cage again than talk about fucking heroin. You'd rob a bank for it, though, wouldn't you? If Essa got addicted to heroin, would you lock her <laughs> in a cage to stop her having it? Three smackheads turn up with screwdrivers at HSBC. Like, I don't think this is going to be asking for a loan. The lowest level so of So there's like, heroin, there's crack, right. then there's... Oh, God, Adam's MDMA. fucking... Scared, right. <laughs> then no cocaine. One's, no, one's no one's addicted one's, to MDMA. Then no weed. one's robbing nanas for Mandy. Come on. No. You're just saying drug names that you've heard what of. What I want to know is, like... Because then past that, you've got, like, alcohol, then you've got cigarettes, then you've got Starburst, then you've got... Yeah. Oh, is this all on the same scale? Yeah, but, like... Heroin it's... at the top, Starburst near the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Right. So what do you reckon is the lowest ranking thing that someone's been addicted to that they've committed so crime genuinely, to pay for? So genuinely, under drugs, you would think that under drugs, alcohol and gambling become, yeah. become the two... Like, drugs are... Drugs are like, I need this to the point where I will risk my is, life and, and threaten other people's lives. The thing is, and then though, with gambling and alcohol, it is so in your system. Drugs are gambling though, aren't they? Because you're gambling with your health. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking funny. I know you were doing a bit, but it made me hate you. I saw you as a Karen then, to be honest. It's all gambling. Well, do you know, do you know where the scag came from? What about sex? Yeah. Sex addiction. Yeah. No one's got any patience for sex addicts. Russell Brand, I'm a sex addict. You're a fucking menace. That's what you are. Yeah. Shagger. Dirty shagger. <laughs> Give it time. Tick- <laughs> TikTok, TikTok on that one. Timestamp that for me. Imagine if it comes out on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Through dance. Shut up. <laughs> I'm a fucking sex pest. Um, allegedly. Allegedly. I mean, we sound. Allegedly. We do. Shut up. We do. Banner. Toby Foster's not a cunt. That was a joke. Russell Brand sound. I'd let him hang around with my sister. Defo. Because she's a big fan. It's not often that my bum all goes on. Um, yeah, shut up now. Yeah. What do you reckon people have committed? Coffee. Grab? Coffee. People oh. really addicted to caffeine. Mm. They are, yeah. But do you reckon ever, anyone's ever robbed a bank for an espresso? I don't think... I think the robbing the bank thing was wrong from the off. Yeah. So it's... You can't keep going. Rob a bank for opal fruits? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, do you reckon anyone's ever... FIFA oh, do you reckon oh. anyone's ever pushed their nan down a flight of stairs? For? Uh, sweets. Sweeties. Sugar. Campinos. Oh. Sugar addiction. The strawberry ones? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, I would. <laughs> what about for uh, salted caramel poppets? Yeah. They're, they're not they're, my favourite poppets. The orange ones are good. FIFA packs, though. That leads to theft. People always rob off the parents and stuff. Your kids. Yeah. That's Is it addiction? Thing. Yes. It, it, it's becoming law. There's a lot of countries now that are banning them. I'm addicted to porn. That's a fact. You're not. I I am. You're not ever kicking an old woman in the face to, to, porn. <laughs> to pay for something? I don't think that's how... Just all addiction isn't one blanket like, there he is, he's trying to rob a bank for porn. He doesn't understand how porn works. Well, that's what the <laughs> question was. I need some bukkake. Like, that, you're going outside the parameters of my inquiry here. No, oh, but you're... You, the, those parameters, I call bullshit on the parameters because what you're saying is all addiction leads to stealing to fund that addiction. Sometimes no, with that's addiction... that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is what is the lowest ranking addiction that does lead to stealing? Oh, sorry. I thought we were talking all... all FIFA right, okay. I think it's got to be. I don't think... There's definitely every single day people stealing off their parents or whatever to fund their FIFA addiction. Right. There's always a picture in the Daily Mail where the kid's just like... Yeah. <laughs> Use my dad's credit card, spent 25 grand. <laughs> Mate, I love those kids. And you got Alex Tellers. 
<laughs> like, honestly, it's a bad part. They're, they're the ones. They're, every time you see one of those stories, and you're like, my child went on Google Play and spent £42,000 on Candy Crush. I'm like, well, your child is a gangster and you are a fucking moron. Sort your internet security out. I just realised I'm searching for a, an article, like a famous one, but the start of my search is old man porn. <laughs> Have you ever seen that one? Just hit enter and see what comes up. No. Do it. Um, old man porn cost or something. Right. What was he yeah. doing? Pensioner. Uh, pensioner. So have you seen his face? How guilty he is. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I did not. Bro, bro, you've got to drop that one in. I, on it, like, his wife, like Margaret, like, I, he doesn't, uh, my Bill doesn't understand Look the him internet. On the video. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a dog who knows he's about to be put down. <laughs> he looks, he looks like me in the future. That is. <laughs> That is the saddest thing about that. I'm like, that is like looking into my wanking ob... ob look at him. <laughs> That's me in the future. Like. <laughs> That's me in five years. Stop uh, drinking Red Bull, Dad. You can Dad. see right there, he's playing one of them in his head there. Yeah. <laughs> please, read, please read the story to us. Um, so he's oh, 72 and 75. They were charged £900 by Virgin uh, for watching porn that they didn't... They claim they didn't watch. Ann and Ron. Oh, of course. Nine Ann and Ron. Hundred pounds. Ann and Ron Hayward from Stockport first handed a two hundred pound bill in two thousand and nine. That's when Ron found porn. One hundred and fifty sixteen hour stints. <laughs> Honestly, I've never cracked one out for sixteen hours. Wow. Uh, on a night of beak and a few pills, and then I get like the midnight. The thing is, if they're maybe been arguing four. for five years. But the thing is, though, they know that the. Yeah, they've bought it. And not sixteen hours is actually a full day because you sleep for eight. <laughs> so that means <laughs> there was a hundred and fifty days yeah. where he got up, didn't even have breakfast, just wanked all day, and then just fell asleep. Yeah, he's doing split shifts. <laughs> oh, um, so good. He, yeah, he's so he's definitely Ron's a dirty old devil. Yeah, and he's waiting till <laughs> Anne's like full of her HRT and she's having a nap. Yeah, and then he's, he's going down, turning on the porn, having the best time of his life because he was born in 1908. So he's like, oh, look at this future tits. And then he doesn't know how to turn it off. Yeah, and he's just left a play. So he's just wandered day. off. And he's they paid nearly a grand. I mean, oh he's absolutely days. guilty, isn't he? <laughs> Without a <laughs> Bless shadow. Him. Look, By look the way, and here's, here's the bill. I mean, we can't separate these papers, but... <laughs> can I just say, do you know in all articles like this where something has happened with like a consumer having a complaint with a, a company. The photos they take like that, you know, where- Compo face. It, not just compo face, oh. but just like, you know, when they're like, right, could you just look sad and, po and point at the pothole where you, you ruined your jeans? It's like- <laughs> Is this, that in the echo usually? This one. And Anne, Anne's just going, Ron, look less wanky. Right. Yeah, the first photo they took there, Ron was like- <laughs> eh? <laughs> He's like, what hey, are you guy, gonna do? What oh. am I gonna do? Oh, the bitch ain't got no moisturizer no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm making fucking orders with the Avon lady myself. <laughs> Ron, do you want anything from Avon? You're fucking right, I do, Anne. Two tubs of fucking moisturizer, babe. I absolutely love compo for you. <laughs> Look at oh, that. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. Dog. What, what is that article? Because she's pointing at a shovel full of shit. <laughs> yeah. I oh. am having to shovel shit. I mean, yeah, it's my it's shit. Great, my compo face. The greatest came from last year, this one. Do you remember that one? Yeah. When the builders kicked the snowman over. <laughs> <laughs> so he lost his job for that. Look, postman, he lost his job. Look, yeah. look at the state of it. The snow has melted literally everywhere. They've had to ship in some fucking snow to be like, just scatter that everywhere. I don't think we got enough information on that story, you know, because that fella, that postman lost his job. Yeah, that picture's got to go in the episode. That postman lost his job because there was, I think they had like one of those ring doorbells and it was like on constantly record. So you see the postman literally just walk over and volley it. And then he got sacked. But like what happened oh, in the bit, five bin minutes? Man. Bin man. Bin man. Yeah. So in the five minutes previous to this, what? Are we going to play this on the app? Yeah, I'll put it in the episode. Oh my God. So is he just fucking... You do that with your mates, though, wouldn't it? It's funny. The snow is gone. Yeah. Like, it's not snowing anymore. Ha oh, man. That's so low. It's such a... <laughs> he put the fucking snowman out of its misery. Oh, my friends are dead. <laughs> Fuck. Absolutely. I just want to know... What's he doing? A Joe Rogan impression? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, lad. <laughs> Fucking hell. He lost his job for battering the snowman. 
Insane. I can I can I suggest? I want to know why he was so angry. What happened that night or the night before or he's, that day? Do you know what I mean? Probably just about. Can I just suggest that that bin team were probably looking for a reason to sack that cunt? I don't think he's been an award-winning bin man. He's everyone's favorite. He's actually like <laughs> he's a representative for the union. And then on an off day, he's kicked the fuck out of a snowman and they're like we've got to sack you. I think he's probably <clears throat> a radgy cunt who yeah. they were like you've caused loads of problems and now you've just kicked the shit out of a fucking snowman. What laws on a know? door dash? Can you tell me? What awards bin men might get? Oh, I mean, like just within the most bins within the depot, up. like you know, employee of the week. What, yeah, well, how would a bin man distinguish himself from the rest of the squad? I don't. You've never worked at a proper place apart from MV and Zellig's. I'm sure there is. I worked in a call center for a week. Uh, yeah, did you win any awards or did you get sacked? <laughs> I didn't get sacked. You didn't go in. The company got of the year. shut down because they because <laughs> they got all their information illegally. Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> <Day one. laughs> it was actually really sad one day because we were like doing that, you know, cold call and you've been in a car accident thing. Oh, and it's it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> but like I needed the money and I had nothing else on. Oh yeah. So I was like, and it was one of those things where like it was in this little three month gap where I had no job and comedy wasn't quite paying enough for me to even pay me dad yet. Gotta do was, what you need to do, kid. My dad was like, you're gonna go and have to sign on. Like, at least for, like, a couple of weeks. So I went in, and they were like, right, we will give you no fucking money whatsoever unless you do this course to be a, a call centre cunt. And I was like, fine, okay. Of course. So did it, did a week <laughs> of the job, and you're ringing up going... <laughs> like, I'm not done you don't the call. Even, you don't even ring anyone. They just, like, sort of... The machine does it for you. And it's just, hello, I've heard you've been in a car accident. That wasn't your fault. And... Uh, just really, really, really sad. Because most people just go, it's quite funny, really. I love when they call Most people go, hey, no! Yeah, fuck off! Yeah... Delete this number and fuck <laughs> off. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. That's me. Okay. Because it's just, there is no information. It's just pure, here's a number, chance, chance here. It's, it's um, I think what they do is they contact dodgy insurance companies where there's been a leak. And, and right. it's anyone who's made any sort of claim. So if you've scratched your wing mirror at some point, then they get your phone number. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Best thing to do course. with them people is Give them a fake story because oh, they can't handle it. I've done up. that because they get really I excited. Do it all the time. I, I told one of them I was in a four car pile up car crash, right? <laughs> it's a four there car There was five pile people up. in my. <laughs> it's a George Cartier line. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's and there, there was five people in my car and you could hear them getting excited. He was like, I'm going to get employed. Can I, just put you on, can I just put you on hold? Oh, shit! <laughs> it's the man alone! Guys, gather round! Yeah, like, he put me on with the manager. Like Jordan Belfort. What we're going to do for you is we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Everyone leaning in. How did you do that? Amazing. What did you say? He put me on with, I, I told them that we, we all got like really bad backs. One of us is still on crutches. One's in a wheelchair. One's we dead. Like, what? One's dead. No, I didn't do it. I didn't go that far because I was like, I wanted to stay real. And I got all the way... I was on the phone with him for about 45 minutes. To an hour. That's when I lived in my auntie's. And my auntie was crying her eyes out laughing. And then right at the end, I went, ah, I'm only messing with me. And you could hear him. He wasn't angry. He was sad. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He went, oh, really? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, because, you should because on his other screen, he's been on auto trader going, I'm getting a new car. <laughs> you oh, do. really? Are they, uh, they disabled now? Oh, okay. I'm going to get a fucking really nice car. Ask him to repeat himself constantly. Because they have to, they can't just go. Sorry, I didn't hear that, mate. Sorry. You're such a man. And they'll say it again and go. Do you know what? I'm so I didn't hear that. Carl, and you're can, such a wind up merchant. Well, you gotta call, call, call me. I'm yeah, doing that. And I'm fucking gonna fucking. Right. I'm gonna ruin your day. Yeah. But I had to do that, and then one of them like was really horrible. This isn't even funny. I don't even know why I brought it up. Yeah, do it though. But uh, I went. <laughs> it was really, really bad. God. I was like. Uh, Oh, you rang that. Oh, this is when you this. were working with the sister. Yeah, I, I remember like, this. Are you, uh, have you been in a car accident? That wasn't your fault. And she was like, are, are you looking for Ronnie? And that was the name I was going scream. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, it was yesterday. And he, he's dead. Like, her husband had died in a car crash. At least this is what she said. I'm open that she's doing what me and Carl did. And we're just trying to fuck off the guy being me. But she was like, yeah. Ronnie was in a car accident yesterday and died. And she was like, so could you just never call this number again, please? And I was like, yeah. I'd be like, oh, respect, love. This is exactly the phone number you need. <laughs> yeah, you trying I to mean, maybe you money? don't want to talk about it now, but let's schedule a call for in a week's time. <laughs> Motherfucker, he's dead. But let's what? get you some dollar dollar. <laughs> Never call this number again. What? Because you've had a car, lost someone in a car accident. I think I should call you. What was your job, though? My job? Yeah. 
like what were you what was the the goal of what you were doing to, to get their to get their accident and injury claim oh right do you know what I mean to start the claim so oh, it's sorry. like because if you come through our company then commission they got like a big commission from the other side it might just be even a finder's fee would you would you actually work was it just a telemarketing company that was then feed into no we were all lawyers yeah, we you, did a week's course lawyer. at the job centre. Wow, that must have been a hell of a course, that. <laughs> Guys, this is how you pick up a phone. This is how you say, well, no, I'm not going to go fuck myself. And now you're a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, so we were all personal injury lawyers. I'm a qualified yeah. personal injury lawyer. My little Ali so, McNeil. you know, last week when you were putting all that gravel away and you injured yourself, Yeah. was that your fault? I mean... <laughs> whose gravel was it? But it who is. did I buy the gravel off? Was the gravel there a sign saying if you lift six bulk bags of this in one afternoon and you drink Moretti in the sun and you're a fat forty <laughs> year old, it might hurt your hamstring? No, nope, that wasn't written anywhere. Did they say that on the receipt? I don't think so. Oh. You could be really? entitled to up to three hundred thousand pounds. to. Oh my god! Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. So who did you buy the gravel off? Uh, Stone and Garden. <laughs> Just actually given the name of the company. Um Jeff's Jeff's Gravel. No, Stone and Garden. <laughs> Stone and Garden dot co dot UK. If you're watching, <laughs> yeah, well, rah, rah, rah. you're gonna have me to answer Sue Could you song. imagine if, if we get an email from Stone and Garden going, Hey! <laughs> hey! Kevin <laughs> Webster, <laughs> hey! I'm not doing this for Cotswold chipping. <laughs> I'm not doing it for limestone. Dan, have you ever been to court? Yes. Have you? Why? Yeah. Because uh, when my sweet mother died, she left me a Peugeot 106. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Peugeot 106 Mardi Gras. Not, <laughs> not any old Peugeot oh, 106. Hang on. Oh. Do you know if you'd have just paused the pod there? <laughs> like, if I was watching this and you've gone, what's Dan about to say next? <laughs> Right near the bottom of the <laughs> list. <laughs> oh, it's an absolute whip as well. Uh, no, yeah, Peugeot 106 Mardi Gras. It was blue. Uh, go down a bit. That was that's not a good reflection of it. It was nicer than that. Oh, there you go. That's my. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh what a beautiful mate. car. Uh, my granddad. After my mum died, my granddad drove that to St Anne's where they live. Put it in the garage, and uh, serviced it every week. <laughs> driving he's such a lovely old man my granddad he took it round the block to keep the engine ticking over so that when i passed my test about maybe a year after my mum died i passed my test i got a peugeot 106 mardi gras <laughs> that i drove around all through my a levels and honestly that thing was fucking unreal it got me all over the shop i never serviced it at one point the engine just exploded because i hadn't put oil or water in for a year and a half and then one of my mum's friends uh serviced it for me fixed the engine for me like just because everyone was like oh his mum's dead and then i was going to Everyone. uni and i had uh the car and i was like i'm not taking the car to uni so i'll just fucking sell it so there's a guy that worked at the pub uh, like he was one of the bouncers, he knew cars and everyone was like, just be careful. Anyway, he gave me a grand for it. It might have been worth a little bit more. It was an all right little car. He knew cars, so he was he went, a Peugeot I can, 106. I can give you, I can give you a bag of sand. I remember him being really Lancastrian about it. I can give you a bag of sand and I literally went, I don't know what that is. <laughs> he went, a no, I want money, mate. I want, I, want, I want cold hard cash. I was such a wet behind the ears, like 19 year old. I was like, what? He's like, a grand, a bag of sand. I was so, like, right. So I took a thousand pounds. So I was fucking minted when I got to uni. I got my loan. I got a grand. Oh, it was brilliant. An absolute player player. Why did you go to court? Because I didn't know that you had to exchange the ownership, the V5. I, uh, I thought you were like, that's your car. And that's my money. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> so he was like, all right, because he's a dodgy cunt. So they just drove it around for ages, never taxed it, got some parking tickets oh. and stuff. And eventually I got a letter saying, this car has been in Salford or something, and it's not had road tax, and it's your car. I was like, it's not my car. <laughs> like, well, can you prove it's not your car? I was like, 
I, I got a bag of sand. <laughs> just, just there's moments because my dad wasn't really bothered and he was doing his own thing, and my mum, who'd been like the parent, wasn't there. I was just left to my own devices in these things. I lost my driving license after two years because I didn't. Just to, this was also part of the reason I sold the car. You, when you pass your test, this is so thick. I can't believe I've never said this. You pass your test, you've got two years to send the form in to get your proper driving license. I didn't send it in for two years. And I got to like two weeks till the cutoff point, sent it in. And in that time, they changed the form because two years had gone by. I sent the wrong form and they sent it back going, that's the wrong form. And my two years was up. So I lost my driving license just through not sending off the application. Just a test that again. So I good. had to do a driving test at 23 years old, 17, and again at 23 years old. I've passed my driving test first time twice. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Like, idiot. And so, you know, when you we're all like, oh, Dan's quite organised. Like, I do the admin, don't I? And I know, I've just said, me and Finn were talking about it. I feel like sometimes I'm like the fucking, like the, the mum of the pod going, you need to do this, could you do that? I do all the admin stuff. He's Captain Big Ideas, Carl's production, and Finn's a rock. Captain Finn. Big Ideas, that's going on a t-shirt. But, <laughs> but part of it is, because I've had to learn the hard way. Like, as I'm sure it's been similar for some of us, because we've I reckon I will get there, because I'm getting, like... Like those points on your license. Yeah, T shout out to... I don't know whether he wants to be named. We'll just call him Paul. Paul, who's boxed me off with a, a little bit of a free legal service there. But As that's the same thing of going, ah, oh, I'll do it. I'll get, I'll get around to it. And I, I had to I learn the, the hard time. way. So many, that was the big one. When I lost my driving license, even at 19, I had this moment where I was like, I was so ashamed. I didn't tell anyone. I didn't tell my dad. I pretended I had a license for ages because I was like, this is so humiliating. Because everyone would be like, what the fuck were you thinking? And, I, and in my head, I was like, but like, my mum wasn't here to tell me, basically. Yeah. And then I had to go to a court in, uh, I think it was sale. And I had to stand there, turn up to basically sit in a court to get called. And then they were like, so you've, you've not paid tax on this car. And I, because I was reasonably well presentable and articulate, I just sort of went, I'm just going to play the moron. I was like, I sold it. And I didn't, I didn't know you had to do any forms and I'm really sorry, but I just sold it. And you could tell they all went, oh, he's a fucking moron. All right. I that played, was it. I played the moron and dead mum card. In, I've been to court twice. So the, the first time I'll tell you about in a minute, the second time was I owed Vodafone something like two and a half grand. Right? It's, 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 it's Ron and Anne all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for pornography. <laughs> No, what had happened was, right, I had a, a contract with Vodafone, and this is such a fucking cunt trick, right? This was, I was about 20 years old, I think, and so my contact <coughs> contract was unlimited data, but it actually wasn't. That's oh. just what they sold it as. It was actually 30 gig. Now, because I was constantly on the internet for work, and at the time, we had no internet in the house. <laughs> two seconds. Right? Um, <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> two gig. 40 gig. <laughs> two gig. Two gig. So... Me bill come through one month and it was like 300 quid for the month. And I was like... How old are you at this point? Like 20 odd? 20 odd. And I was like, I rang them. I was like, what's this? They were like, oh, you've gone over your data. I was like, it's unlimited. They were like, yeah, we say that, but it's not. I was like, well, that's not fucking my fault, is it? You've told me I've got unlimited data, so I've used an unlimited amount of data. And they were like, yeah, it doesn't work like that. And I was like, well, it should, and I'm not paying it. And they were like, well, we'll just chase you forever. And I was like, well, fucking chase me forever then. <laughs> So Adam Rose, really budget version of Catch Me If You Can, <laughs> is him just running off from Vodafone. You're right, though. That is fucking bullshit. Disgusting. So then after like a couple of months, they turned my phone off and then they cancelled the rest of the contract, which they had like a year on. And that on top of like interest and fees and whatever, it was like two and a half grand. Jesus. And in that period of time, I had some family issues where I moved out of my dad's house, went to live with my auntie, then ended up living in Chester for a bit with Danny. And... Then I got some mail and it was, you've got to be in court. Oh, I think by this point, maybe I'd moved in with my ex and we were in the flat and I got a letter and they were like, you got to go to court for whatever. And I turned up in my suit and the woman who was there on behalf of the now debt collection company that 
Vodafone had sold the debt to. And by the way, the fact you can sell debt is disgusting and should be illegal and needs to stop immediately because it's just fucking horrendous. And they can hike their prices up as they fucking choose. Oh, we sent you a letter and you ignored it. So that's another 200 quid because these letters cost so much money to print. Fuck so off. the woman was a slimy little cunt. She was like, yeah, should we just have a little quick chat before we go in? And being a bit naive, I was like, yeah, sure. She was like, so it just tell me sort of why you didn't pay it. And she was trying to get my whole argument off me before we went in front of a judge. And the second we sat in front of a judge, she become fucking the good wife. She was like, I know what I'm fucking doing. Like Annalise Keaton from How to Get Away With Murder. She was all smiling. Yeah, we're all friends, aren't we? We can sort this out. We can sort and then in there she was like, he hasn't paid it, this, 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 and this. And they went, why didn't you pay it? I went, well, over the past couple of years, I've had a really bad time. My mum, uh, she, she died. And then I had a lot of family issues with my dad. Uh, my dad become seriously unwell. As a result of that, I had to move out the house. I wasn't getting me mail because my dad wasn't always in the house. And when he was, he was putting it in a pile, not telling me it was there. And I didn't get any of it. And she was like, with all due respect, Your Honour, that's not our problem. And this, 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 and this. And the judge just went, his mum's died. He's had some really horrible issues. The last thing he's worried about is paying his phone bill. And I went, and also the phone bill in the first place was only meant to be like £35 a month and I was supposed to have unlimited data. The reason this all happened was because the word unlimited was used in the in the contract and it was actually capped at 30 gig a month and it like I didn't know that's so why I used like 60 gig one month. That cost me like 300 quid and then they cancelled my contract and she was like, what was your, the original price of one month's contract? And I was like, 36, I had it written down, 36.95 or something. And she went, uh, yeah, so I'm going to reduce the total amount due to £36.95 and that's the case closed. And she went... Uh, this is for you, Your Honour. <laughs> Fucking ledge. Uh, but you should have read the terms and conditions. No one reads the terms and conditions. <laughs> they could literally write in the iTunes update, we're going to take all your children. <laughs> I'd be like, yep, I agree to that shit. And the first time I, I have went, never read them and the never will. first time I went to court was because my cousin fell mm. off a bus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know my cousin who came and sat in? Yeah. Yeah, when we were young, he fell off a bus. He um, sat down right. as well. Did you push him off a bus? <laughs> <laughs> I am not the only one that is in the head thinking, did Adam push him off that bus? You're stopped, dickhead. Pow, pow. So we were about, oh, me and him must have been like 13, and I think our Jack was like nine, because he's about four years younger than us. And, Thanks. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> I know how years hang on, work. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> nine and 13. Hang on, we're not good with numbers. That's it. It's is nine. That, nine. Is that nine. how numbers work? Nine to 13. Yep. Yeah, nice yeah. one. Carry on. You're welcome. I'm here to help mathematically. Good at school. He did well at school. He did well at school. Won a chess, chess competition on his own. <laughs> I'd like some heroin now. Any any heroin? I'll do her heroin. Go on. Uh, so we went to get on the bus and we all had a chippy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even a lie either because I know it's true. But And the bus driver went, <laughs> No! You shall not pass! Because he was a <laughs> medieval bus driver. <laughs> Yeah. You knaves! <laughs> he, Be guns from my bus! <laughs> he said, you shall not pass the threshold of the Arriva 10A from Dovecot to, to Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass! Well, you shall not uh, with, with, with food. So... <laughs> he gave up on the rest of the <laughs> Dude. You shall not pass with your scram, you know, <laughs> with your gravel. <laughs> he was being gravel. a fucking dickhead, right? Gravel. So we went, can we, uh, <laughs> can we just put it in the bin then? Because we wanted to get to, I think we were trying to catch like a, a film at the cinema. Oh, so it's like, hard, isn't it, when you're like chips or transport? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, and can we just put it in the bin? And he went, yeah, go on. So me and our Jack stayed on the bus. We gave all the food to our... The bin was literally like three yards away. Gave all the food to our Danny, who went and put it in the bin. And then the bus driver tried to drive off with our Danny not on the bus. So we all went... Like, we, we me and Jack both went, what are you doing, mate? He's getting on. And then the people on the bus was like, stop being an arsehole there all together. So he stopped the bus, opened the doors. And the second our Danny got one foot on the bus... The bus driver just drove off. Hey, he literally could have killed him. Literally, like he very, very, very nearly went under could the wheel. Could have gone under a wheel. He, Fucking he hell. He badly, badly sprained both his ankle and his knee because like by spinning off the bus, he'd landed on his ankle, twisted it, and then that twisted his knee. Um, 
he was like on crutches for a while. And then about a year and a half later, we went to court and we're sat there. Me as our Danny's witness, our Danny as the is the plaintiff. The plaintiff, yeah. And uh there was another just old woman sitting next to us. And we were just like, she just kept making conversation with us and we were like, she's a bit keen. And then we realized after a while, because she went, You don't remember me, hit do you? And we were like, No, she was like, I'm your witness. I was on the bus. So she'd come to be our thing. And then this lawyer <laughs> come got in. nothing better to do. Fight the power. This lawyer come in. Now, do you know when you watch a TV program? You know the lawyer who's been through six divorces and he's got eight different children and he doesn't see any of them and they all hate him and his dog stinks and It's Lionel Hutz from The Simpsons, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, Lionel Hutz. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. He comes in and he's like, Right, I'm I'm your lawyer. And we were like <laughs> I yeah. Uh, we got any toothpaste. He's like, right, I'm gonna have a quick look over the facts of the case, and then uh, we, I think we're in in half an hour. And we're like, you're gonna have a quick look. A year and a half we've been waiting for this. <laughs> you're gonna have a quick look. He's like, yeah. And he, I think he went straight to the bathroom, like with his bag and everything. And then he come back out and he's like, right, I'm gonna go and have a word with you. And then he come like we were there for about an hour and a half, and then we had this really young. He had like an assistant who was quite clearly gonna be a much better lawyer than this guy one day. He was a really young. Very, very, very camp, spiky head with like a purple suit. Like, hi guys, I'm here to help, and you know, I'm with Johnny, and like, he, he he's my boss, but I'll get you a cup of tea. Do you want a tea? Do you want a tea? Do you want a glass of coke? Do you want like? He was just that. Like, he was the the PA. Who he sounds like he sounds like every assistant producer I've ever been involved yeah. in a TV set. Like, do you want something? Yeah. Do you want something? You're in the dressing room. Yeah, him, right? So he's like, yeah, boop, 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 boop. and I'm like, meh, 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 meh. like he's there. And then he come, he, he went into the room and he come out and he was like, we've already lost. And we were like, what? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the case is not strong enough. Uh, and, you know, we couldn't get the CCTV from the bus. So uh, just go home. It's over. And we just went home. Never even got into the courtroom. Even with a witness? Even with a witness. Well, that feels like a major miscarriage of justice there, doesn't it? It does. And if anyone... Wants to sort of bring that case back up. Do you know what I mean? Because I, I know that you... Cold case? <laughs> Falling off the bus cold at, case? Like old murder cases and stuff, don't they? Do they look at old teenager Fall falls off, off a bus. bus cases? Yeah. I know there's some lawyers who watch this. If I know you, Indie Clone sends us a lot of yeah. stuff, but... If you want to help us sue Arriva, then... Us. Help us sue Arriva. Why don't we start? Have a way of law. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a qualified... <laughs> Oh my Order. god, I never even thought about it. I'm a qualified person lunch lawyer now. And I'm I a referee. And you're a referee. <laughs> and right. a minister. Yeah, I can do everything. You can bless the church. Tell everyone when they're going wrong. Book them. You could be the judge. I could be the judge. A referee is basically a judge. Bless the church. What is going on? Yeah, it is. So he's you're a, the lawyer. He's a minister. No, I'm the judge. He? You're the judge. Hmm? You're the lawyer. Yeah. So if anyone wants anything clear enough, you'll legally, get to wear a wig. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that's a horse hair wig. How are we? What's, what's his role in the court? Do you know they only wear wigs in the old Bailey, don't they? Like, is that basically. Oh, it's, don't, a, it's a horse hair Do they wear wigs at every court? You don't wear it in the magistrates now? No. <laughs> That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Do they have to wear the ones that you always see them in, or are they just Lad, to conform? Just fucking reduce it to thirty six ninety five. You robbing cons. Next, I've sat and watched the murder trial. Have you? Yeah. On oh. Netflix. No, in um, Liverpool Crown Court. When I watched it, yeah, you get a ticket. Do you no. know someone? No, I knew the case. He was in the away end. <laughs> no way, <end>. a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Never did it. I was actually sat with the. Um, I was sat with the victims. For, uh, he was a bouncer and he got stabbed. And I was sat in the, um, what's it called? Gallery. The gallery. And I'm sitting next to clearly four bouncers. And I'm sitting there taking notes because it was when I was doing journalism. And they were looking at me like, who the fuck's this kid? I was like, fucking shit me. I went to the toilet and four of them came in. And I was like, oh, fuck, I'm standing there. These vinyl. I just don't even feel someone come in. And they went, what are you doing here? And I went, uh, oh, I'm, I'm doing a journalism um Thing. I just need to come and sit in on a trial and be like, oh, yeah, lad, well, then you're doing so well. I was like, fucking hell, thank oh, fuck God. for that. Were you actually making notes or were you just like drawing those S's and cubes and that? I was just drawing, I just, a full page of S's and dicks. So the bouncer got stabbed and died? Yeah. 
And, yeah. and the guy got found guilty. No, it was um, so when I was there, it, it was the it was the um, this, I can't think of any fucking words today. The 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 decision. What's that called? The verdict. The verdict. <laughs> yeah. Are you all right? And <laughs> uh, no, um, it was the day of the verdict. So they done like the closing arguments, mm. and then they went and deliberated, and they came back, and they, uh, it was a mis- it, it's a, not a mistrial, but like they couldn't thing, so we had to carry on. So I missed the I missed the actual verdict. They got found not guilty though. Did he? Right. Eventually. Yeah. Was there was there anything Fair. like TV courtroom dramas? Uh in terms of like ceremony, yeah. Like yeah. all rise when the fella comes in. Yeah. Big fella, you've got to stand up and fucking The big fella. The big the big fella, yeah. yeah. A lot of the courtroom stuff uh, we see, <laughs> we see, yeah. presiding today, big fella, John Watson. Um, <laughs> a lot of it's American that we've seen, isn't it? Like yeah. a lot of courtroom but dramas. Also in we've America seen you can um you can record. Yeah, you can you film can, it. You can video. That's why in the... Joe, the Joe, obviously on the news, the drawings, yeah. they have to leave the premises to do that because that's classed as taking a record of the court. So they have to leave and remember what they saw and then draw it. Can you pop back in? Do you know what I mean? Like, can you, like, draw it and then, like, get to the air and be like, is it black <laughs> or blonde? And then run back and go, hang on. You'd be a fucking nightmare at that. If there was, like, a trial of four white lads and you'd be like, if one was Asian, <laughs> one was black. One was Chinese. Don't sort see of. race. Don't see colour. But you can colour. Go, anyone can go and sit as long as like you speak Can you to the... draw it? Can you say in and draw it abstract? You draw. You say you're drawing something else. <laughs> yeah, like cubism. Can you do it as like <laughs> a cubist court? Eye, mouth, <laughs> fucking ear. Like, He's an ugly a, cunt. Can like, you do a Picasso like of the like court? clocks and you're stuff. Like, can, does this look anything like this court to you? No, exactly. <laughs> abstract. Um, yeah. Fuck off, your honour. <laughs> But I went to the college, did art. It's going to go with, you're not going to get away with that now. You no. can't even have a bottle of water, would you? You know, we've been talking about doing... I can't doing... have a bottle of water. Can you, like, throw That's it That's against them? human rights. I'm going to have a way with this, you know. Fucking hell. Ali McNeil's really coming through with your knowledge of the law. That's against human rights <laughs> to not have water. That's the first thing no, it's in the European Convention of Human Rights. It says you've got to have a bottle of water. You sit there in silence. If you're going, Bleh, and fucking crackling your bottle and yeah. all that shit. Can you not join in? <laughs> what like if, if they're obviously lying <laughs> You'll be like Shat and shit Yeah but then the judge will be like Hey I don't come to where you work And suck <laughs> the dicks out of your mouth <laughs> Where did you learn to whisper? In a helicopter? Order <laughs> Order <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Everyone One Two Three Shut the fuck up <laughs> Imagine if judges were like Compass Can you be a cheer if you've been before? <laughs> Yeah, you should recognise me, you're on it. It's me fourth murder. <laughs> Bit of banter. Well, yeah, anyone can go. If you, I, I'd like you to go and sit on a funny one, like a little shit one. Like yeah. a driving offence. Yeah. Some yeah. shit. I mean, the murder was heavy. Like, I had to sit there yeah. in silence and be a good boy. But. Does anyone else feel like we've peaked in terms of the funnies of this bit? <laughs> I feel like there's no way we're going to top that. But yeah, so we... Well, uh, so he died. He died. And he got away with it? No, okay. no. But he, he died. It was self-defence. So he died. Self defense, and he went on to kill a again. Self defense stabbing. So what happened was he was he was playing the big. This is all on Google. I can't remember his name. Mm. He was playing a big man in front of these bouncers with his missus. And one of the bouncers slapped him. Yeah, and he was obviously his ego was hurt. He was like he's fronting these bouncers, and apparently he hits one. So five bouncers chased him down yeah. the road into a car park, and he had a knife on him, and he turned round because when he was cornered to go like get away, and like. Done that with a knife, and it like cut like an artery, and the fella bled out and died. Yeah, I, I as, as as much as that could be uh, argued that it's a self defense stabbing. I think anyone who takes a knife on a night out. Yeah, of course. That that's but, no. Not, he was going for involuntary like, manslaughter. You, there's no self defense knives. As far as I'm concerned, it's just a construct. No, his argument was involuntary manslaughter, not murder. You were right. One, two, three, shut the fuck up. <laughs> did he have any kids? Who's drinking? That's did, not allowed. Did, Get out the car. Did the bouncer have any kids? Uh, oh, no. They, they don't have a dad now. His family probably miss him. Yeah. Who's the sponsor? Have we got a knife company to sponsor? I, um, I, <laughs> I think we should put the merch in here because I think many of our sponsors... Would, uh... Yeah, Manscaped can't go in here. <laughs> oh, yeah, calling a money cunt. She's <laughs> much better. Uh, let's call a break and we'll have a little snacky snacks. And uh, 
This is for all the uh, dead bouncers. Yep. What's happening, guys? Ooh, look at your outfit. Shocking. You look horrible in that. That's a shit t-shirt, jumper, dress thing, whatever that is you've got on. What you need, lad, is a fucking t-shirt or a hoodie from haveawaredpod.com. You want some official Have A Word merch? Go to haveawaredpod.com and get some then, instead of wearing that fucking shite you've got on. It's horrible. You look a joke. Don't believe in the house like that. You want a hoodie that says rat? That's what you need, lad. Go and get it. Haveawaredpod.com. Rolling in the deep. <laughs> You had my heart and soul in your hand. How much of this, Jack? Need to get your ass. In your place. Jack, I need to get this in. You start this in. I don't know how the bow works. How much is it? Is the is the bow basically like it winds and winds and winds, and then there's like the holding room before you're like pfft, out the chute. Yeah, it's like one big pipe up to your neck, isn't it? What? what? If you go far enough up your bum hole, you come out your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it works its way. It works. Uh, what I'm saying is, it works its way round and a little bit. It's like it? a mile long. If you stick, uh, when when do you? If it, that goes up, when do you hit the first left turn? <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. That's what I mean. I think. Oh, Adam thinks it's just one la- <laughs> like, a, like a slide. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cheese on toast. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Out it goes. Do you know what I've always thought? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it mad that your body knows how to make poo? Yeah, to be fair, that is a valid, valid point. Do you know what I mean? You put anything in here and your body goes, right, we'll have that bit over there. We'll put that over there. He needs that because he's playing fussy later. The rest of it, turning into that brown shite and out the back door. My body is not your Uncle Terry. <laughs> Do you know what I think Get that in. Get that in. He's playing fussy. Big wank later. Mix some extra jizz. Out the shite goes. Are we keeping this? Ted, are we keeping this? Get the fuck out. Get that in the fucking bowl. I think it's mad. Useless beat. That you've got poo in your body now. Uh, Johnny Pelham's got a brilliant line about that. When he was young, he was like obsessed. He was like, isn't it weird that we're just sat here and, you know, we're just like three inches from a poo. (laughs) (laughs) Just sat there with a girl going, God, I'm I'm like this close to your poo right now. It is a weird thing to think your body's just got poo in it. You full of poo. Yeah. But how how does it work though? Do you know what I mean? Like, and it's a good... It's like the miracle of life, isn't it? Yeah, it turns it turns a cheese butty into poo. Yeah, and it turns a bacon omelette into poo, and it turns <laughs> fucking bacon omelette. <laughs> yeah, a bacon omelette. Yes, <laughs> Adam again. Just go. Don't worry, lads. I need another example. I'll go into my brain. Anyone thinking bacon omelette? Yeah, no one yesterday. in the world. Did yeah. you have a bacon omelette last night? No. Oh. You were planning on having one, weren't you? No, I went. <laughs> it's because what happened there was you said cheese butty and I went bacon. Don't say butty. Omelette. <laughs> no, but it turns like. It turns steak into turns poo. crisp into poo. It turns crisp Stop into poo. Stop saying food and poo. <laughs> Don't, we can't do this for ages. It turns into. Yeah, but it turns. Like, <laughs> you're gonna do it again. No, ice no, cream. But no, but lads. How does it turn ice cream and steak into the same thing? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Medical. It turns it into the same thing. And it's a good job it does. Because I'm Is it just it like didn't. a fucking like a big recycling centre with just your body just like as it comes through going, God, 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 that's good that. shite. <laughs> God, that's sweet corn. Shite. Down the chute. That's good that. Energy that. Good fats. Got a bit of good fats here. Protein, lad, got some protein. Put it in the protein bin. Shite. <laughs> hey, and while you're there, John, bit of old blood. Nice one. There's your teaser trailer. <laughs> it's mad that we have solid poos, but you have big, wet, watery poos as well. Because I drink so much fluids. <laughs> got some questions in. Got some questions in. I'd love to know, by the way, if there's any biologists who listen to this, if you can tell me. There's loads. <laughs> there is at least loads. one. It's a doctor on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. If he's, you can tell me He's why. probably killed someone, though, hasn't he? a lady. Shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a female lady doctor, doctor on Twitter. Yeah. They're not all just fucking clean as a maid these days, Dan. Someone's letting them at the fucking lungs now, kid. Letting them at the lungs. <laughs> Doctors are all about lungs. It's module two. What, what, what kind of doctor you are? I'm a lung doctor. I've hurt my leg. Has it got a lung in it? <laughs> well, I'm not fucking interested. I feel like a lung doctor would know that legs don't have lungs in them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 
because you've got asthma that you've... Two little lungs in your legs. <laughs> them legs got lungs in. Nice. you got two little lungs. Are they two little lungs? Sorry, all women, ever. But in They the can end, be doctors was... now, apparently. Just yeah. That's all he's saying. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's the joke I was trying to make, and then he's just smashed his fucking I'm dick into it. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Yeah? Yeah. What can't he be, though? Uh, penis model. <laughs> yeah. You. He can, pig. though. You pig. What? He probably can, though. He you actually can. Pig. A female can't, but a woman can. Yeah. A woman can have a dick. A female can't. Biology. Got some questions in. Adam Rowe. Got some questions in. Do you want to keep going on this one or tread in on the old? Do you want to do that? Are you happy? You all good? I'm really happy. Good. I'd rather see a woman doctor. Yeah. The best of With a dick? I don't care. I just think everyone should be equal. I think any doc, any doctor with a dick, once you've seen the dick, it's a problem, <laughs> isn't it? That is a, that is a big thing, you know? Yeah. yeah, if you ever know for sure that your doctor's got a dick. If you, know, can, man, if you go and see your doctor no. and you can see their dick, doesn't matter if they are man, woman, <laughs> you... No, but there is one scenario in which you would see it. Nope. Yeah, you could get yours out and you'd be like, that shouldn't be there. So you'd be like, what? I shouldn't, man. <laughs> yeah. No, it matters. <laughs> Imagine he did that. Look at that. That's what's meant to look like. Yeah, I'd trust me mark. doctor a lot more if he was like, I found a lump here and I'd be like, some people have a lumpy bum hole and he's like, I have a fill of mine. Yeah. No lumps on my bum hole. Yeah. A lumpy bum When a nurse walks in <laughs> and patient and doctor are both bending over, showing each other their arseholes. Like, like they've just scored the goal. Oh, Should have knocked. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yeah. little reference for Patreons only there. Uh, what the yeah. fuck's a lumpy bum hole? What do you mean? How do you have a lumpy bum hole? Like a bum hole with lumps on. Like Braille. Like, How'd gold. you get that? <laughs> That's not good, is it? It's not good. Which I is don't... why my doctor was going, look, not on mine. Yeah. Unhealthy bum hole equals lumpy bum hole. It's yeah. almost like they should have used the internet and pulled up a picture of yeah. a non-lumpy bum hole rather than got their own bum hole out. One. Do you know what? I could, you know what? I'll show you mine. <laughs> Two seconds, Adam. Sandra! The internet's down! Two seconds. <laughs> Two seconds. He uses himself yeah. as like a barometer to bum hole. Just drops his scrubs. Or her scrubs. Yeah. yeah. Don't wear scrubs as well, doctor. Things have changed. Or suit. Yeah. Some doctors yeah, oh wear yeah. suits. I suppose we're talking about GPs, they're not in scrubs, are they? Oh, my GP's bum hole will be audible. Okay. Yeah. Right. Have, you got, have you got a GP? Yeah, we've got the same. It sounds like a disease, doesn't it? <laughs> AGPs and that. Really. A gigantic penis. <laughs> yes, I have. Um. <laughs> Sorry, <real. laughs> oh, I thought. Oh, no, so the, I uh, thought that was a fair effort. To you be never had Doctor Pramnik, did you? The man, Mister yeah, Pramnik. Yeah. And now we've got his daughter. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I think he touches. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like he was going to cry. That's all. Very briefly, he's not dead, but Doctor Pramik, he moved fucking cheapies. No, now we've got his daughters, and his daughter swore once when she was telling, she went, "Oh, you might feel like shit for the next couple of days," and she went, oh, "And I went, it's absolutely fine." I, I think the world would be a much better place if professionals just like were just allowed. If it wasn't a faux pas to just speak freely, if your doctor just had the, had the option to go, your knees fuck, lad. You need surgery. Yeah. Like that would be a lot better than uh, yeah, because it's human it's torsion on it's your knee. humanizing it. So I, I yeah. went, I went. Don't worry about it. You spoke like and I don't. It's fine. You're sure. It's like yeah, because mm. you have some nans going. Oh, you can't swear. At yeah, me. yeah. You got to play the room. You can't just swear in front of an old lady like hey, you Moira. Are fucked. <laughs> you fucked. You're dead old. You're dead fucked. <laughs> got about two fucking years at best. Stop crying, you daft old cunt. <laughs> all right. See Go ahead. <laughs> Get on me. Get on me. <laughs> <laughs> In my doctor Can you imagine said, if you rang the doctor? Get on me, lad. I'd be like, oh, yeah. I've, doctor, I've got a lumpy bum hole. Oh, that's fucking nightmare, that. That's a right cunt. All right, go ahead. <laughs> uh, Is it like this one, man? And that's when, and that's when I joined Booper. Uh, yeah, um, we, we've got his daughters now who run the practice. Oh, he's still his practice, but they're the main there. Uh, yeah. Uh, two doctors, yeah. Two doctors there. That's it, mate. Two you're making there. West Derby sound like a small village in a rural county. Like, yeah, yeah. You just we've got well, that is West Derby village. We do live in the village. No, you're a suburb of uh, Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, but it's I called know. The, it's called the village. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. It used to be a village 
400 years ago, but it's defo, not a village anymore. The idea of like Dr. Pramik, like he's been here generations. The Pramiks have been here. Pramanik. Please. Pramanik, yeah. yeah. They've been here hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> They're just daughter to son yeah. to yeah. daughter. Yeah. That's really nice. I'm just at a GPs and you just get who you, who you get. Yeah, I went on mine. Oh. Not that I've been for a while, but oh. I know they are. And how's your bum all? Not lumpy. Lump free. I've seen someone else. Good for you. How do you know it's not lumpy if you haven't been for a while? He's in remission. You need to go and get your bum all lumps checked at least once a year. Finn? Come on, mate. I don't even know where to start there. But <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? No, I was just, I was just seeing if you do wanted you to. Do you have a lumpy bum all? No, I wanted to see if you wanted to check Carl's. No. That's what friends are for. No, he just shows me his and I compare. He doesn't feel mine. That's right. Exclusively on Patreon. Do you know if I found a lump on my bum all but I was scared to go on the doctor? Would you look at it for me? I mean, this is one of our favourite sketches ever, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. I've got fucking... What is it? Piles? What is it? Is it two, two pints? pints? Two yeah. pints. Is it if piles? I asked you, if I was here crying, so you come no. all day. No. No, listen. Come on. Let me set it up. Right. No. So Laura's gone. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hang on. Why do I have to... <laughs> what? Why the fuck do I have to be single to check your arsehole? Where's she gone? No, Laura needs to be here. I need to be still married in a really loving, <laughs> no, Laura's cisgendered... Gone. No, she's gone. Where's Laura's she gone? Laura's gone. No, she's not. She has. She's still here. No, I she need hasn't. her. Well, then I can't look at your bum hole because if I see into the eye of fucking Sauron, I need to go home to my wife and I need her to hold me as I weep. No, Laura's gone. Yeah. Right? Moves to the Middle East. Right? Sort of kids with her. Right. She's a shake now. She's coming to money. That's not how the Middle East works. What do you mean? <laughs> and they're not famous for letting women be shakes. No, so they've passed a new law. Cool. That women can be shakes. Women can't Sh even be doctors over Shake there that yet. booty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah, really? Fuck it, Al. He's bringing out an album. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a purpose. I one. know, oh, Carl. Come You've got to accept the banner better than me. So she's shake a shake. that booty. <laughs> right? It turns out... You're laughing, aren't you? Yeah, because it's so ridiculous. One of the sheikhs in... <laughs> You're laughing, are you? One of the sheikhs in the Middle East has died, right? Right. And they've gone, right, who's next in line? But he never married. He's got no kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All his elder relatives have dead. Salt and sheikh. So they, so they went to a 35-year-old woman from the East Midlands? <laughs> it turns out, uh, yeah. weirdly, yeah. she's his closest relative. Right. 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 Cool. Yeah. So they've cool. gone, right, you can be the new sheikh. Yeah. And you've gone... Do you know what? I really <laughs> don't agree with the hum human rights atrocities of this country. I'm not going to name the country. Um, One of the Abu Dhabi DBDs. Maybe. Yeah. Abu Dhabi Dubai. But okay. Dubai 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 Abu Dhabi. Over there. Saudi yeah. Arabia. Like, I'm not going. Bari Qatar Abu Dhabi Saudi Arabia. Saudi Qatar. Yeah. Yeah. Qatari Arabia. Yeah. 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 So uh, Abu Saudi. Like, I'm not going. Right. And Laura's like, well, I'm not. I'm. I'm going to go because like there's literally billions over there. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm going to buy. Nottingham Forest and make them a European giant in a few years. You think if uh, Laura was the heir to a billion pounds of oil money, I'd be like, human rights is disgusting. <laughs> How much is it? 3.8 billion. What? Pounds? No, US dollars. Well, fuck off then. <laughs> disgusting. People yeah. have died building stadiums in Qatar. Well, she's over there. Right? Right, she's gone. She's, she's gone. She's gone. Kids have gone as well. They're too little. She, she now owns Nottingham Forest. She signed right. Mbappe. The kids are Arabs now. They're two little Arabs. They're two little Arabs now, aren't they? <laughs> kids, right? Oh, that method. works. Two little Arabs. They're two little Arabs. Yeah, yeah. Right? That felt so wrong. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even talking as a parent. <laughs> two little Arabs. Yeah. So she's gone. Laura's gone over there. Right? You Just to clear it up. Yeah. Is she? She's gone. Gone. Laura's gone. Right. And you come in here one day, and I'm there crying with me one more house. <laughs> So hang on, I walk in. In what position? I, I'm just sat down. So you're here first. With yeah. no pants That's on. the first shot. You're... <laughs> <laughs> and you've got... And you've got your bum all out. <laughs> in what position? That's what I mean. You're ha hang on. Jeans completely off. No, they're around my ankles. And you're what, on your side? <laughs> no, I'm sat down. That's not out. Just like leafing me dick. I'm just like... Like, like I'm covering me dick. No, your bum hole isn't out then. It's well, my bum hole's not out, but I've got no pants on. <laughs> right. right. And you're like... Bare, bare cheek against red couch. Yeah. Right. Right. And you're like... We need a new couch. What are you doing, Adam? And I'm like, fucking fire the lump on me bum hole. Mm. And you're like... I, I'd walk in and say, in that tone, <laughs> what are you doing, Adam? <laughs> that doesn't ring true, does it? 
I walk in, see you well, leafing in your dick, you your pants me. around your ankle, and I go, you just tell me. matter of fact, like it. I'm, what are you doing, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sat there. Go ahead. You tell, you tell me what you do then. So I'm sat there. Imagine pants around my ankles, and I'm just crying. What would you do? I'd be like, have you found a lump on your bum hole? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. how did you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a lumpy bum hole, haven't you? I'm mean, like, listen, I'm terrified the doctors and that you know me health anxiety spell, will you just Yeah. You get get that magnifying glass out of there and have a look at me bum hole for me. I'm going straight to magnifying glass. <laughs> have we got one? Mate. Have we got what? a magnifying glass? What? Yeah. Have we got a magnifying You just you just nodded like <laughs> you know, in the magnifying glass cabinet. Like, Get that magnifying glass out of there. There's, there's a cupboard behind Finn with loads of tech stuff in it. Adam's head is like, got a magnifying glass on me. <laughs> Pretty sure it came in the studio. Did. Yeah. You got this? Did you go? <laughs> Can you imagine if you just went bum hole in here? Uh, would I check your bum hole? Yeah, with a Laura's magnifying gone. glass. Right. So like, you're not going to get home here and be like, have you been looking at like, bum holes again? If Laura was still here, I wouldn't do this because I was married, but I'm single now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, we parted for you. Yeah, parted for you. Oh, I don't have to touch anything. No. I just have to get the magnifying glass. Yeah. Look, you'd smell it and you'd feel the heat as well. But I'll baby wipe it before you go down there. You'd feel the warm where glow. Would you, you know, I'd be more worried about where you'd put the baby wipes. <laughs> just in the corner. <laughs> Adam, I, I respect you. I love working with you. This podcast means a lot to me. I cannot go near your lumpy bum hole. I've had promise not to fart in your face. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, sir. Promise. Pinky promise. Pinky Where's promise. that finger been? <laughs> Checking for lumps. Imagine if you did. Disrespect. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah, my fingers crossed. Ah, no. no, imagine if you farted in his face as he was helping you out. Yeah, I my fingers crossed. So I can. <laughs> He'd have to go. Yeah. yeah. How many doctors have had their face farted on? Do you know, like, Finn, and Google app. Can you pull that up? <laughs> pull that up, Jamie. If we no have, one's if ever we... asked that question on the internet. <laughs> that's mad. The shit that's on the internet, you've just broke new ground. Definitely. But, but if you are a doctor, if you are a, um, you know, a qualified medical doctor, not like, oh, I've got a degree in theology. Fuck off. Um, yeah, can we can, I just feel like the, there must be a bit of queefing going on. There's, like, bum hole doctors get fast on all the time. Proctologists. Yeah. Yeah. You said that like that was so common knowledge. Well, if you, if, get you get, if you get a, uh, a rectal examination, <laughs> 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 the old-fashioned way, think of England, If you, you have to take laxatives, don't you, the day before to clear everything out, and then they, what's it called? A Finger. What? When this, no, an enema's when you clear it out. A rectal Ma. examination. There's a camera up the bum. I can't remember what it's oh, called. Oh, an endoscopy. Uh, yes, Carl. An endoscopy. How could you not think of like, <laughs> when we were doing court cases before you're like, <laughs> I can't think of no words. The guy in the wig and the people in the building and they say bad or good. <laughs> what about uh, anal examination? Endoscopy. <laughs> Do you mean, Dan, do you mean endoscopy? <laughs> yeah, I do. Thanks, Carl, who's definitely had a coffee in the break. <laughs> Um, that that must be there must be a bit like right camera's about to go in <laughs> happens all the time <laughs> that's not your fault <laughs> Jesus Christ why couldn't he hold it because <laughs> you've had laxatives are you telling me you could hold a fart if I was shoving a camera up your ass <laughs> I don't know but, telling me but we'll find out <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll find out on this month's Patreon exclusive <laughs> You're oh, telling me if I had a fucking broom with a GoPro on the end of it and I was shoving it up your ass, yeah. <laughs> you'd be able to be like, I'll hold that in for a bit. I'm going to be no, honest with you. A broom. Res- out of respect. <laughs> I'd probably be running away. A broom, a broom with a GoPro <laughs> fucking taped up. All right, Dr. Teddy's in. <laughs> the biggest hey, asshole listen, ever. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Adam. I got some bad news, mate. Lumpy arse or no lumpy arse. Those tiny cameras are fucking pricey. You've been on Amazon. Absolute nightmare. Plus, we're not with Prime anymore. So I've got what I've got is a GoPro. Me brother's a scuba diver. And I fucking gaffer teeped it onto this fucking broom. Don't worry. Not wooden. No splinters. It's plastic. Up it goes. Breathe out. Woof. If I farted then, then yeah. That would yeah. be the weirdest thing happening in the room. 
<laughs> you you've got a and endoscopy coming in your future, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. You you you. I'm no offense, mate. I'm not the healthiest specimen, but I might end up being the youngest straight man to get fingered. I mean, no, I just, I, I would have, we had to let that breathe. I would have, I w- <laughs> it's good Adam spoke then, because I would have let that hang <laughs> for such a long time. Because, like, the whole thing of like, do that as a no context, have a word. But sometimes when you leave the gap, you're like, oh, I hope they know. Um, there they are. I, uh, I've got some blood tests coming back on Friday. I think blood tests about me, but more. He actually has. Okay. Did we talk about when you. We didn't, did we? No, we told it to the lads, but we didn't. We didn't. No, we didn't tell that on pod. <laughs> you told it to the lads. Let's I mean, monetize it, guys. Yeah, let's monetize it. So, a couple of weeks ago, I it was when he was feeling dizzy. Remember that day? Yeah, hang on. I rang the doctors. No, this is definitely the wrong. Story. Definitely the wrong music. <laughs> is it not a sad story? No. So You're right. I was sat there. All right. Uh, the reason I rang the doctor is because I keep feeling dizzy, right? Yeah. And he sat there, and he just finished editing, so he had his headphones off. And you know what I'm like. If I get the giggles, I'm gone. I'm just gone. Right. So the doctor went to me. Adam's I'm gone. Porn star I'm Martini gone. and the giggles. I'm gone. <laughs> You've so turned into such a fucking woman today. God. And you could say, that's a gamble. Well, at least I can become a doctor. Right? Oh, that's a callback from before. Callback. Um, On your side, sisters. So the doctor goes to me. Uh, and he wasn't from round here. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, he spoke okay. like this. Oh, right. oh. He did though, didn't he? That's a really accurate impression of one man. That's exactly him. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, let's so hope he it goes, uh, has blood been coming from anywhere? Like from your body? And I started talking in what in my head made sense. But as I started <laughs> saying it out loud. Were you with him at this point? I was he sat, sat there. I'm sat on right, the yeah, orange right, couch, okay, right? So I went, no. And he goes, so no blood in the stools. And I went, right? There's not ever any blood in the toilet bowl. But sometimes I have so many poos in a day that I wipe my ass too much and there's a bit of blood on the tissue because I'm overweight, <laughs> right? A bloody bum hole. <laughs> so I'm sat listening to this. Enjoy your breakfast, everyone. <laughs> so he starts crying, laughing. <laughs> so then I'm literally, I've got my phone about a yard away from my face. He's laughing like that, like you are. I can't, I can't breathe. And then I come back and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but none in the stools. And he's like, right. And then I knew. Do you he, think that's real? Do you think you're wiping your ass so much that your ass is like, I know it's only tissue paper, but I'm falling to bits here. Yeah, you can overwipe. Yeah. Yeah. That's never happened to me. Not once well, in my entire time, life. I'm telling you it's a thing. Oh, I know. I believe you. So. You told her to a doctor on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so the doctor goes. What toilet paper are you using? Babes, treat yourself to some Andrex. <laughs> we get Cashel. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was doing a joke. <laughs> I thought I was doing a bit. I thought it took my brain a minute to work out what was going on. I was like, what's the joke? It's no joke. <laughs> I thought just really honestly went, yeah. <laughs> Lad, you get a shell. <laughs> it's not Andrex, but it's not far off. <laughs> 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 He'll be bullshit so much that my I'm literally trying to sift through uh, what's he lying about. We got Cashel. Bravo. Bravo. So, cause I'm now laughing and then going, yeah. So he goes, <laughs> he goes, when when's it happening? When are you getting dizzy? I was like, it's when I'm sitting down. I'm better when I'm stood up. If I, and he was like, okay. Um, and he starts telling me, but I. Because I've got the giggles out and he's <coughs> staring at me. He's sat there staring at me and smiling, laughing. So I keep having to do this with the phone. The doctor got at me and then I was like, he definitely knows I'm laughing. And now he thinks I'm going to be lying. And I've just told a story about how I've overwiped my bum all to the point of bleeding. He's going to think I'm taking the piss. So I said to the doctor, mate, I'm really sorry. I'm still at work. And because this is quite a sensitive subject and we're talking about bum holes and that. <laughs> my mate sat there laughing and it's making me laugh. So that's why I'm laughing. And I expected him to go, yes, no problem. So we'll just get you in for this. And he goes, ah, your friend can see you. That is hilarious. <laughs> and then he's laughing about Adam's bum hole. <laughs> oh. Mate, mate, so many. To that judge from the first section. <laughs> to that doctor. 
<sighs> to all women doctors. All right. <sighs> Any questions? I just, I just don't feel like we're going to top that. <laughs> it's too funny. I just don't want to bring it down like, oh, someone's sad about something. Oh, fuck off. Go on then. Let's have a break and get Stephen Trials on the couch for the third time. One of our most <laughs> requested guests. I know what he's thinking. Good show. Good show. It's really funny. Good <laughs> <laughs> okay, show. All joking aside, though. I talk shit about nearly everything, <laughs> but not Cashel. <laughs> the man's got to have something. What's happening, guys? It's Adam here, and I'm here to tell you yet again that this podcast, Have A Word, is supported and brought to you by Manscaped, the world's best male grooming products, especially for that below-the-belt grooming. And they've got some big news. They've just released their cologne scent. Who knew smelling this good could feel this good as well? Join the movement apart and become a part of 2 million people who are now trusting Manscaped to shave their balls. Now, I shave me balls once a week, twice if I'm feeling frisky. Uh, and since I've started using Manscaped, I've stopped cutting the bag. I don't snag the bag anymore. Manscaped, I, I know they're a sponsor of this podcast. And I'm literally getting money to say that they're great, but I don't use anyone else anymore. They're absolutely brilliant. They've got the Perfect Package 3.0, where you get the ear trimmer called the Weed Whacker. You can use that on your nose as well. You get the Lawn Mower 3.0, which is the little wazza for your balls and that. There's Ball deodorant, there's ball toner, there's ball wipes. Basically, if you clean yourself up down there, lads, right, if you get a bit, a little bit neater, right, a little bit shaved down there and make it smell nice, your beard's going to want to suck it off more often. So why aren't you doing it? Trust me, go to manscaped.com right now and use the promo code WORD at checkout. That's W-O-R-D. You'll get 20% off and you'll get free worldwide shipping and they'll stay dead happy with us because we're sending them a few customers. They'll keep sponsoring the podcast and we can keep bringing you this top-level bullshit for free. Go do it now and then come back. Go ahead, shave your balls and stop them stanking. All that could is that could all be pod. That was all a good pod. It's getting, it getting to the point though, isn't it, where we can't have conversations without being like harsh. Me and Carl were in the car today no. talking about something, and a half an hour conversation, you know, as you would with your best friend, and at the end of it, we're like, oh, should have recorded. I just that. went, that's pod shit, that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh God, Steve is Steven mic's not. Steven isn't on. Steven, way I'll try it. Press the I can't believe you you'd muted our esteemed guest. Third time here. I know. Just mimed when I said hello there, just to add a little bit. <laughs> three point out. He knows what, stuff I do. He knows what he's doing. Who, who else has been in three times? Freddie and Paul Smith. Paul Smith. It? Paul Smith. Freddie. That's it. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's an elite Raise club. The bar a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a, a very elite white club. White so male club. As welcome well. to it. Yeah. yeah. Like the making Masons. assumptions on my skin colour there, Dan. Am I? Cool. Am I not allowed to assume that? No, is that no, thing? Have things changed? I wonder if we'll ever get to that point. Did you just assume my race? Did you just assume my race? <laughs> that happens to you, don't it? People assume you're white, but you're not. You're one of them. I'm one of them. <laughs> what? He's half one of them, isn't he? We're dicing here, aren't we? One of them. What do you mean? He's half Spanish. Exactly. They're not white, are they? Mate, you look more Spanish than he does. Yeah, I know. <laughs> are you all? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> That's, that's not. That's exactly the point I'm making. If anything, he's an Anglo-Saxon. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Maybe a bit of Irish. A bit in of there. Irish. My mum says we've got uh, gypsy blood or something. In the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that Spanish? <laughs> oh, oh, Honestly, Hispanics. If you're in Malaga now, piercing yourself. <laughs> in the feed. Oh, oh, this. Yeah. You flirt. I know, it's not often. Usually the guests flirt with Carl, not the other way around. So you've got gypsy blood in your family? Uh, possibly, yeah. Yeah. They get, a lot of us are alcoholics, um, so there's that too. What, your family or gypsies? Uh, family. You got a text, Adam? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Got a text. <laughs> it's Love Island, is it, yeah? This is gypsy <laughs> alert. <laughs> Fuck it. Carl's got to suck off Stephen for today's challenge. Um, um, what, what, do we get, what do we get for that? What? We get uh, more viewers, probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> Guessing so. Yeah. That's pod shit, though, isn't it, really? Have you if you're going to suck each other off, it's pod shit. Have you got alcoholics in your family? Yeah. Here we go. Me and you. Yeah. Uh, they're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Whose family do you reckon could win a piss up off? A piss up off? Uh, your family, probably. Okay, cool. Moving on. Yeah, but the numbers are down, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> 
They've lost the star player. Yeah. Suarez has left me. <laughs> Suarez has left Liverpool. Yeah. Van Dijk's been out for this season. <laughs> ah, it's a major, major problem. Uh, I've actually brought gifts because I've seen people bring gifts. Oh, to no, oh, you haven't. You brought us gifts. Did you bring Finn one as well? No one ever brings Finn one. <laughs> now that I know there's a bit Finn, of gifts in there. Finn, I gave you a great review when uh, you This is the around. hand of a man that owed me money. There you go, lads. Uh, so, of course, I, I've heard you speak famously of Café Patron. So oh, yes. Just enjoy that. Damn. Can we have one? Oh. Can we have one? Uh, I oh. thought you were going to kick that right <laughs> off to the end of the table. <laughs> Even. You want it? Fuck you. And then, uh, Dan, Can we have one? you've yeah. had a little boy, so got one for him. <laughs> <laughs> just enjoy that. <laughs> and, uh, one for him. <laughs> please give him one. I haven't forgotten about Etta. Uh, so this is uh, a Peter Rabbit picture. Oh, sir. Can, can we open it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you For the sake of the it? joke. I feel like you should open it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the kids love this. <laughs> <laughs> <Me too. laughs> he's, he's framed a joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. That's right. <laughs> oh my god! How am I? Even though I've met Stephen several times, it was like, oh, she's she's gonna really love this. <laughs> and when he said joke, like that. she's gonna love this. Please, I honestly give that like, to your daughter. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. please give that to Etta and film a reaction, Daddy. That, it's that giving one me of the feelings. Ones. <laughs> this is oh. We we really appreciate. Do you want to do a round of applause? Oh, that yeah. Do. do you yeah. want to do, do the soundboard? Yeah. And this is for the rabbit. <laughs> um, can I have a look at the cafe it's patrol? Safe, yeah, that the mini one. Can we have a shot? Um, we can oh, if you want. One shot. I'm driving. It's fine. I'm on the gym yeah. as well. It'd be fantastic. <laughs> That's the most like. Oh, one shot. <laughs> one shot. And then get in the car. You got a little coffee cups. Two little coffee oh. cups there. Two little coffee cups. Would you like one? Oh uh, yeah, please yeah. Yeah. Are we going? Are we going to keep this? We should keep this. This should, should make the. We should give that to Jack on his 18th birthday. When yep. On the anniversary of the podcast. Does it age well, Cafe Patron? Does yeah, it like yeah. a wine? Yeah, yeah. It's like does a. Jack age well. <laughs> yeah. Does he make it to 18? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Your own child. Is Adam babysitting at any point? I don't know. I I feel like I have been. I know you I do. I really do. Give you six weeks. Like, I know we joke about it and stuff, yes. but I feel like, you know what I mean? You ever done any babysitting? Um, no, not officially. Just, I used uh, to babysit. <laughs> not his. <laughs> <off. laughs> <laughs> Volunteer at windowsills, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're qu- under a lot of pressure to get that open there. That I felt, I felt for you a bit there. Uh, be sensible now. Come it's on. It's a driving shop member. A driving shot. I'm not driving. I think it, it's driving tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a beer as well? Do you want a beer? Yeah, I'm not having this without a beer, am I? We're also we've also Chaser. we've also got a bit of work to do after the podcast. We're not like bashing this and be like, nice one, Steven. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for the picture joke. <laughs> that's all I've got to be honest. It's finished. That's it. Section one done. Yeah, Every, we've all got bottle openers famously. Yeah, there you go, mate. Cheers. Strong start this, isn't it? While we That's all bevel. Um, for the audio listeners, we're pouring ourselves some booze. Could oh, you yeah. pass we're all having a shot. For the audio listeners, I, I made a really funny joke about Peter Rabbit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, it makes <laughs> no sense. Yeah. Yeah. 12,000 oh, yeah, yeah. people. Stephen has given us a picture of a rabbit in a cage uh, with Peter written on it. But not, yeah. not, 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 not like the traditional spelling of Peter, like the charity. Peter. The, P-E-T-A. I bet. Wordplay. Yeah. I think the people who listen on audio were so glad we explained that. Yeah. That was good. They were like, oh, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> now I get the joke. Salute. Hey, cheers, everyone. Enjoy. Cheers, gents. Kuna Matata. Oh, Oh, it's warm. Oh, it's like... <laughs> It's like, like I'm still it's in like, focus because I've just got up and got back down. That'd be awful. Though. It's like a really <laughs> naughty. Um, do you remember matchsticks, coffee matchsticks that your 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 nana had for Christmas? It's so delicious. No, she was an alcoholic. So. <laughs> <laughs> she just had that. Yeah. Oh, me and uh, on my first date with my missus, we had uh, 
four shots of that each <laughs> within the space of about half an hour. On the uh, on the first date with my girlfriend, I ordered four shots of lemon cello and she went, yeah, I'm not having that. So I just sat there drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got terrible. Over there, I think. Did you try and style it out? Four no, shots no, of lemon cello, please. I don't want that. <laughs> uh, who, who offered you one? <laughs> As I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, where, where, where did you go? Where did you go for your dates? Oh, also, how did you just like go? Fuck it, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just ordering the four lemon cello. Not even two. Yeah. Not even like one each. I'm like, I'm so sure <laughs> that this girl I'm on the first date with is going to go for lemon cello. I'll make sure she's got a second one as well. I was drunk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Where and were you? Uh, we were in we we're in Manchester. We'd been to be at one. Yeah. It was on a Sunday, so it was dead. Um, although I told her I booked the place out. <laughs> she loved that, and then we went we went to some went to some no bar that was open. That's <laughs> like, a real risk. That that no one else is coming in at yeah, any yeah. point. It's, it's just one more couple come in, and she's like, "Stephen, trying to tell that." <laughs> <laughs> like you've got to like follow up. Like guys, <laughs> could you fuck off? I oh, know these. Get, come join us. <laughs> T- Tony. Uh, so then I went to whichever bar was open, and then. Some guy, I went, I went to the toilet and then I came back and she went, oh, that, that old man over there was telling me to come join him at his table. I was going, oh, you shouldn't be with him. Uh, so I just I just ordered four shots of lemon chow. To <laughs> That'll show him. <laughs> uh, my credit card works. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> then she didn't drink it and, and then I went to the toilet again. He did it again and that point we, we left because <laughs> I was intimidated. <laughs> Why was that more awkward than when you went, my family are alcoholic? <laughs> <laughs> when we're like, yeah, that's funny. We've dealt with that. Bad dates. Oh, you okay? When you, say, <laughs> when you say old, what do you mean old though? Like Dan old or old? Older than Dan. All right. Um, he was... Yeah, Older about, than Dan, but younger about than... About 60. Some buildings? He was drinking on a Sunday <laughs> evening. That's the sort of level he was at. All right. So were you. <laughs> yeah, but I was on a date. He was uh, he sat with his probably, probably intervention group. And he was hitting on her. I did it twice, even though he took the rejection. How old was she at the time? Um, <laughs> twenty. <laughs> Your Honour, <laughs> I can't. I can't drink lemon cello. They won't serve me. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got school tomorrow. <laughs> it's a Sunday, Stephen. I am. Um, yeah, I was talking to my missus on our first date, and like for <laughs> some reason, she was just like, uh, she told me her favourite shot was that coffee patron. I was like, oh, that's mine as well. And she was like, should we get some? So I called the waiter over and said, can we have four coffee Patrons? Thinking, we'll have one now, and in about 20 minutes, we'll have the other one. And she immediately went, cheers, boom, boom. So I had to follow her up, and she was like, that's lovely that way, it? we should get some more. And I went, we have four more. Right? And she went, oh, no, I meant in a bit, but by then I thought of the other day. So then, yeah. Oh, too late. Your relationship is so fun and boozy. Yeah. It's so, you play beer pong on a Saturday. Yeah. As soon as the restrictions ease, you were like, hey, like your Instagram and made me so jealous. This was back when um, when you had to eat to order booze, you had to order oh, food. Yeah. And we'd been to one place before the second place and got like some dinner there. So when we went to the second place, we were like, what do we have to order to be able to have alcohol? And they went uh, <laughs> like, oh, you've got to get a pizza and a, a pizza between you and a side each. So I was like, right, we'll have a pizza, onion rings and chips. Could you just put them on that table that you're not allowed to assist anyone on because of social <laughs> distance and, and leave this table empty for our drinks? And they were like, yeah. So then at the end, hammered, rotten drunk. Like, you got to leave now because it's a I got the bill and she went to the phone like, can I put that pizza in a box? And he was like, are you going to take it home? She was like, I'm going to give it to a homeless person. <laughs> and neither of us remember leaving the building. So we don't know what happened to that pizza to this day. Yeah. Right. We don't was know it whether it got to a homeless person, okay. whether we just threw it and started necking in the street or what happened. But You got fucking pie-eyed on a first date. We did, yeah. yeah. But the fact that both of us did that. Yeah. You know? Set the tone. It does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And we were both happy with it. Yeah, both so, mate, I'd honestly rather that than a... You know when people are like, we should meet for a coffee in an afternoon, yeah. you know? Like, I know, I understand... Speaking from a guy's perspective, maybe I don't get how fucking edgy it can get with some horrible, creepy cunt who's like, no, I have more drinks. But <laughs> it still seems excessively dry, doesn't it? Like, when we go for our first date, let's meet at 2.45 at a Costa and have one latte, check if you're a rapist, and then I might see you again. I did check. Like, 
I'm just check. Bend over. <laughs> just be like. It's on the phone to a mate. He hasn't put his dick in the last eight months yet. Not <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm thinking we go for cocktail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long I'm, have you been with your missus? Nearly three years. Nearly three years. And how old are you? 25. Okay. Do you have many conquests before that? <laughs> I was a virgin before that, Adam. We've been through this. Oh, of course. Come on, I was a loser. <laughs> I was a fucking loser. Have you been on any, like, really awkward dates where yeah. you've just, like... Yeah. Yes. So I feel like some most dates should come with a bullshit belt where, like, less than an hour in, you should be allowed to go, no, and just fuck off. Speed Good. dating? Just sort of. Yeah. Yeah, but... Yeah, Long except fun. there isn't but someone waiting for you. You just have to fuck off and leave. Yeah, it's just be gone, peasant. But that's why I think <laughs> uh, that's why I'm saying the alcohol is massively important because yeah. with enough booze, nothing's as like boring, is it? You can be like, you know what? I'm clearly not into this girl. But if you've had two coffee patrons each, I bet you can have a bit of a laugh. You have to be a really dry yeah. fucking date to be like, no, this is <laughs> just going for another. Going to get me warm. <laughs> Bloody hell. I'll be funny there's, there's soon. There's loads of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> that went right over his head. You took it as a hint. He's like, come on, Stephen. Two, Everyone's on it. After two, two three. three. You're being a bit quiet as here, kid. Get another one, don't you? I've never had a first date. What? I've never had a first date. I have. I've had a few. Mm. Where did you go? One, I met on Plenty of Fish years ago. That you know about. You met her in Pop World a few years later when I bumped into it again. Vaguely. <laughs> you have to give Did me a Oh, know. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh. I remember sending Carl pictures of this girl. I'm going out with this. Oh, can you blank her name out when you yeah, do this, yeah. right? Um, going, I'm going on a date with this girl. She's fit, isn't she? She's like, yeah, she's nice. Hey, lad. And then on the days I text them and I was like, she isn't fit, but I'm still going to fuck her. <laughs> and I did. And then... A few years later, we bumped into him in Pop World, and he was like, who the fuck was that? And I was like, it was that girl. And he was like, Jesus Christ. She'd melted. <sighs> like, yeah. Since. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> My first date with Laura, she came to see a gig. That's high pressure, isn't it? You talk about I mean, it you? worked out oh, pretty well. Gig? Yeah, she came. Oh. I, I I met her a few weeks before I went to the New, the New Zealand Comedy Festival. And I was in New Zealand on your first date. Yeah. So I was like, I'll see you in Auckland. It's a long flight if it's shit. I'm not playing the travel. I like you, but I don't like Auckland like you. So she came to Hull because it was the it was the Next best. it was the it was the Saturday before I went away. So she came, we we went for like drinks and everything. And it was like, Oh, we're getting on and So where did you live at the time? So I lived in Preston, she lived in Nottingham. We'd so met, went to we'd, met a, we'd met a couple of weeks before <laughs> where she came to a live show I did in Preston. We got on, we swapped numbers. We'd been chatting. That was the first opportunity I'd got to see her and the last opportunity before I went to New Zealand for three weeks. So I really wanted to see her because I really liked her. But the only option, the only time she was free, I was gigging in Hull. Do you remember the one at Fruit in yeah. the Toby Jones? Nice yeah. gig. Yeah. One of those gigs where you're like, I don't mind taking you, but it is Hull. Yeah. So she drove up from Nottingham like a fucking trooper, got a hotel. Got, I got the Premier Inn and I was like, basically like, so we'll stay in the Premier Inn. And it was just this, if it had gone wrong, it was going to be fucking awkward because we were in Hull. So if in that two hours where we were having drinks, it had just gone horrifically awry and it wasn't working. Where the fuck was she staying? We were already bevied up. And I had to take this girl who was like, I think he's the cunt. I will go and watch the gig. It all went well. Did you? Yeah. Pot the black? Well, we went drinking with... <laughs> Pot the black? Pot the black. I can't think of any of you. <laughs> Pot the black. Like the the finger in the ring is already the euphemism, isn't it? I like, just couldn't think of it. There's a, a pinch ball yeah. in snooker. Did you did you, you pop the ball? Did you pop in the, the net? Pop the brown? Did you stick your penis in your vagina? Did you have sexual intercourse twice? Twice, yeah. same night or in the morning? Yeah, for the is that because you wanted your money's worth from the Premier Inn? For the for, yeah, yeah, it's for sixty three quid, Stephen. <laughs> for the first and last time, we had sex twice in a night. Well done. Really? Yeah, never, no. never since. No, it's twice a year. Yeah. 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 That was, that, I was, that was a lot of pressure. Because I got to the gig, I was like, fuck, I, I really like it. It'd be, the two hours of drinking had gone well. Then we got to the gig, I was like, this has got to go well as well. That's, I don't recommend that. Already booking a hotel, having a fucking gig. It's way, it's way easier going, should we go and get four limoncello at a bar? Like, that is so much easier. I think it's a miracle that any woman 
went on a first date <laughs> hundreds of miles from her house. It's nice, a hole, man. yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll I think most women... For if this. You're, if you, yeah. Like, if you're like, do you want to go on a date with me? And she's like, yeah. When are you free? Oh, well, I'm going to New Zealand next week because it sounds like bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to New Zealand for a month. Damn, so, what, what uh, do you want to come to Hull next Friday? What was the gap between entering the Premier Inn room and the... Snooker. Stop doing the fucking thing. <laughs> the snooker. When did you start playing snooker? Uh, um, do you have a st- like a stopwatch just around your neck? <laughs> I was like, listen, listen, Laura. <laughs> Carl yeah. needs to know. We've just we've just been drinking and on a gig, but if this is less than three minutes, it's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> chop chop. On your marks, get set. Go. No, I mean, was it like the fabled like you you push into the room together and you kiss and then you undress and all? Did you just like sit down and start? <laughs> Didn't happen to me. Sit down and start. What are you what talking about? The Premier Inn stuff. I, my, me and my girlfriend went to a Premier on the second date in Liverpool. Because uh, right. we were just in the city centre and she lives in the Wirral. So it was like nearby. And then... Uh, she lives on the Wirral. On the Wirral. you never be in the Wirral. It's a peninsula. You're on the Wirral. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Want to go? Sorry to go. Let's do it again. Like a bus. Hi, I'm Stephen Trice. Thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, Have a shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so... So we we got to the uh, the Premier Inn, and because it was about 3 a.m., he said, how much is it? And they said, uh, 220 quid. And I was like, oh, fucking hell. And because it was the second day, I still had to impress her. Yeah. And I've made a lot of lies about my financial situation. <laughs> uh, I uh, booked this whole Premier Inn. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is Lenny in? No. <laughs> oh, I missed him. He said he'd be here. <laughs> Shagging Dawn for the last time. Um, <laughs> they are divorced. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> she's not dead. No, no, of course not. He's not a necrophiliac. So I got Allegedly. into the room. <laughs> Thanks. If he's watching anyway. Yeah, Adam's a uh, train train lawyer, so don't worry about it. He knows the uh, he knows the system. Thanks for alleging he's not a necrophiliac. <laughs> just. Uh, just Alleging he's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're suing that he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in case. Allegedly he's not. Okay. Just in case Lenny Henry's solicitors get in touch with that. Did you say that Lenny Henry wasn't a necrophilia? <laughs> he's got a new five minute bit on this. <laughs> uh, so, so we got into, uh, got into the room and I shut the curtains. Not hers. <laughs> <laughs> Jarrell, <laughs> it's amazing. And uh, <laughs> imagine if you did. If she took a pants off and you went, no, fuck it, I'll. Nope, no, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, uh, so I shut the curtains and the pole came down. Not the maid. Oh, that's too far. I'm a bit racist. <laughs> Anyway, the, the, the curtain bar came down and uh, and she was in the bathroom and she, she came out and uh, I was just stood there holding it against the wall saying, please help me. I <laughs> uh, slept, slept in my jeans. <laughs> Did she help? <laughs> no. Uh, she fell asleep in my bathroom. <laughs> she's four foot something, so she couldn't help. So what happened to the curtain? I, I put it up myself, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, really, I really felt like there was a joke that Stephen should have taken. Like, he Sorry. did so. I put it on myself. You set it up, take it. Um, I uh, knocked a saloon door off its hinges the other day. Oh, I saw that, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I videoed myself coming through and then I, whoo, and then it fell here. Uh, was it a fancy off. hotel? It was the Market Street Hotel in Edinburgh. Um, and I just went to them, listen, like that fell. And uh, I just opened it and it fell. And they went, oh my God, very, very sorry. <laughs> They did? French. Yeah. I think. Yeah. That was Scottish, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a good Scottish. Very, very, very Scottish. <laughs> oh my god, it happened all the time. Have you got the uh, have you got the Welsh uh place this weekend? Yes. Uh, with no internet. Yeah. Good I'm luck. going there tomorrow. Ooh. No internet in Wales. I've bought four power banks and I'm not even messing for my phone. They they arrived today. I got a text from oh, saying my name. How, long, how many days are you going for? Two. That's a, that's you think you excessive. need two power banks a day as well as the charge on your phone? I think I'll probably need one a day. And the right. other two for me, Mrs. How, go long, there how just long do they last? Uh, uh, they charge your phone back up to 100%. Yeah, are, you so to, are you just going this or just go on your phone? No, but I need to take pictures, don't I? Yeah. Or else it didn't happen. Fucking millennials. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you don't. I think it would be good if you came back 
of not using all of those. I think it would look good if you were like, didn't even need to. Yeah. If you're scrapping around like the Welsh countryside, like a smackhead trying to find Jura cells, <laughs> it's going to look, yeah, I just need it. Your USB. Come on, I've got a TikTok that's kicking off. <laughs> sure kicking phone take double A batteries. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. I knew what I was going for, but uh, as if I didn't realise that it would get jumped on. That's not the right battery, you tit. What's that? <laughs> Any batteries? I'm Adam Rowe, I'm a little horse. <laughs> I'm, two little horses, I'm, I'm the banter pony. Clip <laughs> <laughs> <The banter> pop. <laughs> Fucking jaw to sell you, nonce. I just felt my tits shake then as I did the little banter pony. Join the gym with me, Dan. I'm joining, I'm starting our gym. Do you tonight. go to the gym? Do you work out? Well, I had a, I've had a shot. So I injured my shoulder playing badminton. Rough sport. <laughs> hey, Rough sport. <laughs> Do any of your stories end without me feeling sad for you? I have a beta male. Let me get that across now. Uh, oh, cheers. I've been in one vulva. Let's move on. So uh, in? I don't know where on. that is. On. In on. The on. <laughs> it's the wearer of the woman. Do you right? The Birkenhead is the clit. <laughs> oh no, that's a three pointer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, the vulva. <laughs> Where the vulva. In and around. The gym. We were in the, the gym. gym. The gym, yes. <laughs> which is called I the saw vulva. A vulva in the gym, yes. <laughs> I'm so beta. I'm, I'm at a gym called the vulva. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the ladies are really love. <laughs> box oh. fit or whatever wow so it's uh, uh yeah i injured my shoulder so that goes dodgy every sort of six months and then uh i can't exercise really but i uh, I, I just sit on the bike at the moment uh pedaling <laughs> <laughs> and um <laughs> and yeah the the pts come up to me and uh, because they now have got an instagram following and they think he's hot shit and i feel like a uh, you know a hot woman at a bar oh so because they know if they come up and go Steven, I love your stuff online. Yeah. Maybe I could give you a few free PT sessions this and then you'll it. go, hey, yeah. DeAndre's great. You should yeah. use him. Yeah. Or Graham. Or Graham. <laughs> Both white black. men lift. What? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one came over saying, white, oh. men, white men lift weights. <laughs> it's the sequel to White Men Can't. It's a great <laughs> film. Yeah. It's a great yeah. film. This is uh, heavy. <laughs> and then one of them came over saying, I've watched some of your videos. And at that point, I was out. Some. That's pathetic. <laughs> Some, you went the chicken connoisseur. That's one video from about five years ago, mate. <laughs> that was out. Uh, but I, I did have a personal trainer for a little bit, and he was uh, he was good. And then it sort of gets to the point where it, it's like a job. Uh, <laughs> you don't get paid gym. for. It. Yeah, it's like oh, if I don't do it, he'll be upset with me. Yeah, and you're doing lunges, sort of crying inside. My missus is sort of like a personal trainer for the dishes now. <laughs> you know I mean, true. Yeah. You're doing really well. <laughs> You're doing really well. Come on, Should just one more. Just one plate. more. There's just one plate left. Do that, Pan. Yeah. I can't. You can. <laughs> Your form's not good. <laughs> Pan's are horrible, aren't But if I pans. don't do the dishes, I know she's going to be like, next week, you're doing three lots. I would pay for a personal a PT session for you just to see you tell someone to fuck off. I've had a personal <laughs> training before. I just feel like you, you don't respond well to being told what to right, do that's the only reason i couldn't be in the army yep. only right yeah the only reason um, <laughs> but but with pts they're often physically you know bigger than you so you do take the commands otherwise mm. no but they can't yeah can they that's against the law I can't know. just beat the shit well, like out of you. PTs yeah. obey the law. I say, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a faux pas, isn't it? Yeah. You're not doing it right. <laughs> 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 All the other PTs are to be fair. It worked though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, I'd need a I'd need a like you're doing really well. Oh like a driving instructor. No, like 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 your mum's mate. I'd like a PT that was called fucking Margaret. Margaret. Mm. Sorry. What happened there? Keith V two there. Me and Stephen have been uh, working together behind the scenes. <laughs> Personally, I love the chicken connoisseur. Thanks for the uh, Peter Rabbit joke. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> I um, We've been workshopping. I took over my girlfriend's Tinder for a video the other day because we were speaking about travel lodges before. Um, <laughs> can we just reverse park for a second? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Your girlfriend's got Tinder. No, she doesn't have Tinder. I made her one. I should point that out. Um, <laughs> I took over my girlfriend's Tinder. <laughs> I found it. And the You're first doing thing it all I wrong. Was, Come on. <laughs> You've had a shag for years, love. Um, so, so I took it over and then uh, I made this ridiculous profile, like the worst profile you can. Um, 
You know, she's a single mum who's lost a kid to social services, that sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> but she loves to fuck. Sorry, go on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then just the worst photos of her. Um, and there are very few. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, basically, lads m- just kept matching. It's so easy. It's ridiculous. Um because they're just horny. But I found particular, it was the 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 50-year-old men. You know, you'd think 20-year-old lads are going to be the, the outrageous ones saying horrible things. It was the 50-year-old men yeah. who went into such detail. The phrase, <laughs> the phrase <laughs> with a wand on your click came out at some point from this bloke. And I looked at him. With and a wand on your click. He's got a photo at a tube station like, you're right. <laughs> oh, you can't be sexy. Cock foster. Yeah. <laughs> That was the sexiest one you can think of, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it's got cock in it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Unpacking the joke. <laughs> but Pick one... circus. Nice. Yeah. Pick a dildo. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> um. Coxford Circus. I really don't think we should keep going on this. Like, three of us, four of us going, ah, oh, it's called banter. Things <clears throat> uh, cross. No. Why, what... We, anyway. This is just to entertain yourself, or yeah. were you doing something with it? it? King's Cross Babe Station. Nice. Here we go. That's, we can move on now. I needed one. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't had a good one. Um. <laughs> anyway. Cologne. Kennedy Queef. Players. <laughs> anyway, so... so, <laughs> so uh, Did you just go from Canary Wharf to Canary Queef with one step? It says on the tube line. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just, just cut all that. Uh, Tottenham Court cunt! <laughs> <laughs> Houston Minge! Am I right, guys? <laughs> now, we're, now we're good. Uh, anyway, one guy went into such detail about the very moment we get into the, the hotel room um, to, you know, obviously how he, he's going to ride her from behind furiously. Uh, and, and at this point, this is just the first... Ma- this isn't like, hey, how you doing? You've not responded, he's gone... No, no, I'd I'd egged him on a bit at this point. Oh, so how did he open the uh, the the His one name on was Thomas? Y- I yeah. said, "Oh, this must be Thomas the Spank Engine," and he was like, a, <laughs> he was like a, a Ralph Lauren wearing uh, you know, vintage car driving. That was his profile, and then I I just came out with the worst sort of thing. Like, so I asked him what would his dream date be, and he said all this stuff. Like, uh, he's talking about a ten course meal, and you get uh, bottles of wine with each course. Uh, some bottles worth two hundred pounds. This is literally what he said. A bottle of wine with each course yeah. on a tank course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ten bottles of wine between the two of you. <laughs> and he said, "What would your dream date be?" After all his stuff, and I just said, "Getting fingered in pre- uh, in a travel lodge." And then he was still going with it. So it's just the the because in his head he was like, "Brilliant! Yeah. This saves me loads of money." <laughs> <laughs> I was going to spend. Fingers. I was going to spend like well over three grand, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I just realised, yeah, men are men are the worst. Old men. Right. Older than you, Dan, to be clear. Yeah, okay. I have no beef with you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and your girlfriend was like, yeah, yeah, set me up on a, a Tinder. I'm not, um, she's that sound. Yeah, because uh, she'll probably get Instagram followers from it. And that is the end goal for everyone. Yeah, every everyone apart <laughs> yeah. from my wife, who will not accept anyone as a follower. Won't she? Oh, God, she's very protective. <sighs> Members of her family that aren't allowed to see what she puts on Instagram. God. Yeah, my missus is on private. She doesn't want any... So yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. She's like, fuck that. Mm. My girlfriend wants clout. I reckon you like you'd ever be the sort of dirty old man if Laura, <coughs> Laura's gone. So right. look, if Laura was, if she'd gone, where's she gone? gone? Antarctica. What for? Try and find a new type of penguin. Do some clapping. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, with penguins, yeah. uh, during the, the question, if you had to shag an animal, what would you shag? Yeah. I always thought a penguin's the obvious answer. Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, the way. What, why? Yeah. <laughs> just, they look cute, don't they? <laughs> just, not in a nonce way, an adult penguin. Uh, Where's the like hole? Is it at the bottom? I've not got that far <laughs> with the <laughs> car. You could face fuck it. Like underneath. Oh, <laughs> Do you know when they have like the, uh, when they check bombs under cars, you can yeah. just have that in, a, in Chester Zoo. There it is. It's not in the, yeah, you'd have to like tilt it, wouldn't you? <laughs> There's a condom there. Someone's, someone's had a go. <laughs> I always think panda. Uh, yes, yeah, images. You I always think panda. Yeah, Pandas won't even fuck other pandas. Yeah. Why is it going to fuck you? You like the challenge that you did. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Don't to seduce a panda. You, you're all looking for consent from the animals that you're fucking, are you? Have you? So what you're looking for is a pretty slutty like a new, fucking new, penguin. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I would fuck this penguin, but she's not into me. <laughs> Panda, really, yeah. I just think they're nice and cuddly. Probably quite dangerous if you're Ooh, trying yeah. to stick your dick <laughs> in them. You'd have to, yeah. Well, they look slightly like bamboo. All of a sudden, they see a dick. Crunch. Just start calling me <laughs> Panda Pops. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be millionaires, boys. <laughs> Always <laughs> as long on As long as we do some editing <laughs> from this picture. Panda Pops. What would you fuck? It's pops. And he pumps pandas. <laughs> pops pumps pandas? There's yeah. a little Patreon exclusive... <laughs> Web series we can do, innit? Yeah. Alan Pop, Pumps <laughs> pandas. It's just you shagging pandas. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be dead after the first episode, wouldn't he? <laughs> What's that? Siri was like, oh, right, you want to fuck a panda? <laughs> <laughs> Adam, Siri police. was like, yeah, uh, yeah, Adam, you've asked about this before. Sure, Siri. You want to fuck a panda? <laughs> just in your calendar. <laughs> I, I can't believe go. you'd want to fuck a bird. I always feel like when people go, what animal would you bang? Like, you're the only person who's like, and I've never. Everyone else goes like, land mammal, and you've gone, bird. Not a bird, though, is it? No. Yeah. It's not, though, is it? And also, yeah, saying the phrase "I fucked a bird" is quite accepted yeah. in this society. Oh, yeah, mate. yeah. I think, think yeah, yeah, I yeah. Fucked yeah. a panda. Stephen's mm. thinking about how he can tell people and not <laughs> yeah. seem like a weirdo. Went to Antarctica, fucked a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of her mates watched. <laughs> Fucking freezing <laughs> outside. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck was that about? You so sorry. Mentioned before Stephen came in that you wanted to ask him some questions. Yeah, about your YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've dealt with we've done fucking the penguins, <laughs> Stephen, how's your career? <laughs> my, new, my new series of fucking penguins. <laughs> No, because we've had Steven in. This is the third time. time. And Carsley had questions. We've I'm trying to fucking move this train along. No, I know you did very well. Someone's had a beer and he's like, whoa, we're all shagging pigeons was, and shit today. Was, no. No, you There's can't still shag some a professional. Pigeon. You can't shag a pigeon. What? That's the worst of the birds to fuck. Yeah. Pigeons? Is, yeah. Or magpie, because they might rob you. <laughs> <laughs> you look to your bedside table. Oh. Magpies are the prostitutes of the bird world. Yeah. So yeah, YouTube. Prostitutes famously <laughs> rob people sometimes. You wouldn't want to fuck a vulture though, would you? That'd be bad. No. What It'd be quite do? the claim though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing here? No. <laughs> don't know. Sorry. Adam had done really well, got us off it. Sorry. <laughs> Not just because we've got... He's what finally got me a fucking beer. magpies. <laughs> You're doing the questions. <laughs> Only because you've had you in twice and we've never spoken about what you mainly do. Yeah. Your YouTube. Like when they just started and stuff and why and... Um, so I started in 2016 because um, we were doing a, on the comedy course, we had to do a final project and me and my two mates were doing a, a sketch show. And so we we made about five or six sketches and put it into about a 30 minute show and showcased it at this uh, place in Media City for our course. It was well received and then we were going to cut them up individually, put them on YouTube. And I thought, well, I've been doing like YouTube like, shit videos with my mate doing like chili challenges, that sort of stuff uh, a year ago. So I need to put a comedy sketch to show that we're doing comedy now. So we, we rushed out um, this sketch and I just got uh, this Adidas jacket uh, was similar to Stormzy. So I thought, oh, I'll do how to be Stormzy. And then uh, that was that was a lot better than anything else I've ever made. A big video that like, you know, yeah. that was well received. <laughs> Gina? <laughs> Fucking peaked then. <laughs> <laughs> That video's paying for the patrol. <laughs> no, we got claimed by Beyonce. Did they? Yeah, because in the in the in the video, my ringtone goes off and it's Beyonce, single ladies. I'm up three seconds, maybe even two, and they claimed it. What? So she gets all the money for that? Yeah, she gets all the advertising revenue yeah. just because. Oh, dingle it! Oh. Seven million views on YouTube. How much money? Pour some out. Uh, <laughs> you can't afford to. <laughs> Isn't that how mad much that Beyonce I'm... can be like this lad from Saint Helens originally? <laughs> it, it sounds like it's Beyonce, but it's Beyonce's it's lawyers. Beyonce, going. Oh, it's, it's Beyonce the, uh... like Jay. It's happened again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Beyonce very famously deals with a lot of her own admin. So I don't think she's watching Stephen Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce famously does a lot of her own copyright YouTube infringement stuff. Yeah, she did an interview on it. What is she, right. Sony or something? I know Sony. Yeah, it's a, they, they claim everything, basically. Yeah, Sony. Like, the the music, the, uh, yeah, how the much would that video, how much is Beyonce and Sony music? Well, I don't know. Seven, seven million views. If you, Probably about 450 grand. 
No. <laughs> yes. Yes, my <laughs> lawyer here. Uh, <laughs> Four hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> pounds. Well, if our revenues anything's got back, it's about eighty-two quid. <laughs> <laughs> you see. I didn't do a Chinese accent and say cunt every three seconds in that video. I told you! <laughs> um, we've not once done a Chinese accent. We've you, done really bad YouTube are well on to us. <laughs> we're YouTube, like, there's an algorithm. He's like, nope, these guns aren't getting any money. And we're like, at cars, like, lot. Can we get to this check by a human? And they're like, defo, not me. I've got ears. Yeah, so yes, yeah, 7 million is your biggest with the Stormzy and then Chicken yeah. Connoisseurs, the next with 3.2. But you've had like, Sabin videos go into like tens and tens of millions, haven't you? That you've yeah. Heard? So I go on their channel, like the and, Tinder uh, ones and stuff. They're massive. Yeah, they they've done ridiculous views. It's, a lot of my best videos are on other people's channels. That's the issue. Um, <laughs> you're not along as you know I haven't delivered here, but I will do, guys. One day. <laughs> <laughs> but my favourite one I've done. You're not is back for it? a third time because you don't deliver, Stephen. We're on your Thanks, side, mate. Thank you. Uh, the, <laughs> uh, do you know the true Geordie? Yes. Favourite video I've ever done is when... Uh, so, sort of scandal came out. And, uh, sorry, Brian, if you see this. Uh, about him. <laughs> just a, a sexual conversation he had with a woman. But she uh, she basically posted all the screenshots of it. And it was very detailed. And uh, not in the, the old man to my girlfriend sort of way, but... 200 bottle, 200 <laughs> bottle of wine. <laughs> it's coming straight up your ass. Um, but there was stuff to do with, uh, you know... Strap-ons and what have Straight you. Straight up. <laughs> Don't even drink it. <laughs> <laughs> open that. Fucking there we go. So you're cooking with I've got a glove. <laughs> Look at 2002 Chianti there. Right up your fucking ball. <laughs> Bit lumpy that. Get it checked. <laughs> so he'd been, he'd, been, he'd been messaging a girl. Yeah, th this, so this woman was... Uh, she'd been egging him on. And then she posted all the conversation. And she knew exactly who she was dealing with, yeah, someone yeah. with a bit of profile. Yeah, blue tick. Oh, um, Jesus. So, uh, so it was very sort of explicit. And there was stuff to do with, yeah, strap-ons and uh, him being humiliated. Anyway, this came out on the Monday. And, uh, and me and my friend Will, we, we used to be in a YouTube group with Brian. And we were like, oh, God, do you think this is real? We were like, um, possibly. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> it slowly became clear that it was uh, real. And I started thinking of jokes in my head that, you know, I wouldn't say to his face, God, no. Um, but then I wrote them down. Then on the Wednesday, he got in touch. Because uh, I I'd messaged saying, how are you? Because it was trending yeah. number one on t uh, Twitter, not Tinder. <laughs> um, and, then, and then he got in touch and said, we're doing a video on Friday. Um, I've basically got to face the music. Will you come on and roast me? So, uh, so I just got to live out my dreams for that week and just say everything I could think of. That's phenomenal. What a great way of, uh, of dealing music. with it, yeah, yeah. going, right, this has gone wrong. Everyone's talking about it. Why don't I look like a, a sound guy and fucking benefit from it? Yeah. What have you got up here, Carl? This is his, this is Stephen's um, channel. Channel and his highest, yeah. highest view videos. Look at those. Cool. There's some, uh, you look, you're fresh faced here. Yeah, yeah years that's ago. me, a young boy. But you've, you've aged quickly, haven't you? Cheers, Carl. <laughs> I mean, but that beard's doing well. So good to have you back, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Just get you on so we can document it, you ugly cunt. <laughs> no, what I mean yeah. is that, yeah, beard, the that beard's done work it's for you. four then, years ago, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the N-word was a... Uh, that's my favourite one. Where's the N-word? Yeah, if you scroll up a little bit, there, it's a video about nonces. <laughs> so it's like a documentary on, on nonces. Um, and I did a, I did a joke the about the, the Adidas Predators. Um, <laughs> being for paedophiles <laughs> and uh, we, I didn't realise the other channel I was on was uh, they were trying to get a deal with Adidas and I, I think I may have cost them that one <laughs> 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 but I gotta laugh <sighs> I think you might be the only person to link Adidas predators with sex pests but it's beautifully done uh, but yeah it, educating eating is on there and that was one of the ones we did in university so we did we did these these sketches and then we put them on um on YouTube. Did uh, did everyone, was that part of the course towards the end? Did you have to put it on YouTube or did Not you just all, take no. it on yourself to film it and put it on YouTube? Yeah, I thought this is too good to waste. So we, we put it on YouTube and then um, two months after we did the, the Stormzy one, I was in Cavos, uh, which is what I do. And uh, 
Four shots of limoncello deep. <laughs> and <laughs> no one drinking it with me. Come on. The you bar was empty. I've <laughs> been there for decades. Here's the lemon Shite. boy. All right, lads. There you go. Uh, and, um, and this guy messaged saying, oh, I've, I've put your video on Facebook. It's got 200,000 views. And this was massive to me. I was like, oh, he's pulling my leg. And then a uh, uni lad got in touch saying, oh, can we share it? Uh, and I was like, yeah, please. And I'd sent it to Lad Bible when it first came out two months earlier um so uni lad shared it it was going going big and then lad bible shared it because they could usually they it'd be one or the other but because i'd given them the rights by giving it to them um they both did it so it, it was very lucky that way and then uh and then whilst i was on holiday i'd scheduled a video to come out it was a uh, how to be a bad man um <laughs> and it's in like a drug dealer and then that sort of helped grow the channel because people saw me regularly posting sketches. Yeah. And then after that, I did how to be a skateboarder with a, a comical gay character. Um, <laughs> and people went, this isn't drug humor. I'm out. Uh, <laughs> not as in the gay character. Um, so it, it slowly grew from there. Yeah. How to be a, there he is. Yeah. It's not actually gay. They're both next to each other on the, on your views. Oh yeah. Which is nice. Um, so yeah, we, we basically, me and my mates from uni just kept doing these videos and, uh, Slowly, slowly grew. What well, we've been doing this for a year and a half, not even, and we've been on YouTube since August. Yeah. And it feels like we've been doing this a long time, doesn't it? Like, that... We're here twice a week, t- talking for hours, aren't we? So yeah. It, like, and every day we put some sort of clip on social media pretty much now, so... Yeah, so it, it feels like we're doing a lot more than we actually are at times, doesn't but, it? You sound drained. But we... No, we're not. <laughs> no, it's still... We're like, honestly. <laughs> Seriously, today has been day. such a fucking good laugh, and it, and and I hope that comes across. But like we're talking about, right, what's the next step, and where where what do we do to keep it fresh? What what's with something that's gone so successfully, and you've already been like doing it for four or five to years? A man who's been married for eighty years. No, I just stick to I'm a happy marriage. I'm just I'll interested you, to know. I'm just interested to know. <laughs> What the gate? What the plan is? What? Where do you see, do you just see yourself continuing it? I know you're doing your podcast, but what is the what's Early. the sort of development game? Um, like? So basically, with this uh, on this channel, the the Stephen tries one. Last year was my biggest year in terms of subscribers. Um, <laughs> during the pandemic, you're a hero, Stephen. I know. Entertain <laughs> the nation. Cheers. Um, but it was uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, this year. I thought, right, I'm going to upload as much as I can. Really go for it on the main channel. First video I posted, one of the first weeks in January, it was sort of like a news thing about stuff that had gone on because uh, I was trying to be more topical, more content. And it got age restricted and taken down um, because <laughs> I showed a man wanking on her. <laughs> oh, what is it? That, that chat roulette. And they age restricted that. I know. Kids need to learn, guys. Men wank. Um, so, <laughs> so basically, it got I think taken. It's okay for a kid to learn about that. Do you know what I mean? As long as he's not in the same room. Yeah. yeah. None of them. The government share your views on that one, Adam. <laughs> the words of my lawyer. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fella had his dick out, but there was a fucking bit of styrofoam between them. Adam uh, works for Adidas part time. <laughs> um, and then, so that got taken down. I was like, oh, fucking hell, you can't make a joke these days. So it was blurred as well. Um, you can only see a few pubes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was like, I can't be arsed with this. Um, YouTube have pissed me off. <laughs> I'll show them. I won't upload. Um, <laughs> YouTube carried on <laughs> without me. <laughs> Stephen, this is YouTube. <laughs> we need you, baby. <laughs> show the whole dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then... Um, I've had this idea to write a, a sitcom for ages. So I've I've started doing that and um I've I've I'm three episodes done out of six. So that's Are you making it yourself? Yeah, right. That's it. great, isn't it? I don't know if I'll make it myself. Hopefully a production company will pay. And you me. want it to go T V are you gonna Have do it on your own? Productions? He's you don't I want think he's doing all right. <laughs> We've got three cameras here. <laughs> <laughs> Some lights. Four li- lights. Literally just been on his on his YouTube with 1.3 million followers like, Stephen, <laughs> we've got a plan. <laughs> Come away with us. I mean, we flag- will help you Have you, you got out. a flag of Texas and a pair of pants that don't fit an old man? <laughs> Have you got a wacky Chinese character? <laughs> Do you want to be monetized at all? Because if not... <laughs> if you want to make money, then maybe... <laughs> All right, well, good luck with that, man. Yeah. 
Is the C word a killer, yeah? In uh, terms of pronunciation. Uh, apparently. Did you just say the C word? Well, he's already said... I don't want to keep saying it because that's what's demonetizing. Con, 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 is con, 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 it's con, it's con to kill her, yeah, for um, it, I think apparently it's the first 30 seconds in particular that you have to behave yourself. And then after that... <laughs> Incapable. Yeah. <laughs> if he, if, if <laughs> said that said, now, he's going to say it, I swear to God, if you said that to Adam just before we recorded, like, everyone, go, cameras in focus, everyone ready? Finn, you're all right. Remember, behave yourself for 30 seconds. He would be like, literally like, Arsecape, come fuck! <laughs> fuck, fuck, come cut! Like, straight yeah. out. Arsecape first, I, yeah, I, I used to be that. like that. I used to be really anti-YouTube if they demonetize stuff. I used to make jokes about YouTube and my videos and when they were changing all the rules. Um, And then, yeah, you have to pay bills. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Once <I've>, again! <laughs> so the, but the, the cunt is... It, it's tricky, yeah. I feel like it does. It does cost you. The cunt cost you. I think that might be the first ever no context have a word from a guest. <laughs> the cunt will cost you, damn. The cunt will cost you. Well, we've, said it, now. we've said it enough that we're definitely not getting monetized for this. Oh, yeah. right, it's long gone. Imagine mate. if we do. If you're watching human, please. Yeah. It's, yeah. Tricky. Okay. A cunt will cost you. It's just a fucking word. Grow up. It's just a noise, isn't it? Yeah. It's just the same as... <laughs> That's much more offensive. <laughs> Imagine if a girl did that. <laughs> I want you to lick my... <laughs> <laughs> Four. Fuck me in my... <laughs> <laughs> but I know what she means. <laughs> Obviously. You know what I mean? Women make that noise, noise when they come more often than they just go, Cut! You know what I mean? I'm all like, it's <laughs> Then come. Why are you shagging like deaf dolphins? <laughs> Not in your business. <laughs> Break. Break. <laughs> Break. Vultures. What's happening, guys? Are you on board the CBD oil train yet? Whether you are or you aren't, you should head to supremecbd.uk, one of the official sponsors of the Have Away podcast, and get yourself some premium CBD oil product from gummy bears to the oil itself. This stuff has got a million uses. It can help with anxiety. It can help you sleep. It can help with aches and pains. It's really, really brilliant. It's been helping me and a lot of other people. Now, if you go to supremecbd.uk and use the special promo code, code WORD, that's W-O-R-D, you get 30% off every and you order, and they slide us a little bit of money for sending you their way. That's how sponsorship works. They sponsor the podcast. We push you their way. It's a money game, baby, but you're going to get money off your CBD. And what's better than money off? Nothing. Go get it. Supreme CBD. Dot UK. No, I was just thinking. Uh, sorry. In that what were you just thinking, Adam? Who's that from? I just that was just the script. Was it from? Oh, the script. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking, because we've had some drinks. I just wanted to bring this up naturally. Go on. What <laughs> idea? What? I, 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 what's what the I, idea? Sorry, 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 sorry. My line. What oh, idea sorry. have you had? Stephen has had many alcohols. Wow. Have you there. just thought of that? Yes. What could we do? We could maybe uh, in July or something like July. Yeah. In July. 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 Twenty twenty one. July. We, we could do a lock-in. <laughs> With Stephen? But we'll have to call it the post-pandemic piss-up because it'll all be over by then and we'll all be You love getting... your peas. What? You love your peas. I do. Um, and my broccoli. I fucking <laughs> hope it's over by then. <laughs> That's him sober, all right? Um, would you be up for doing a... Uh, doing so our, uh, our lock-in? We, 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 we sprung this on me, guys. Until, remember? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm busy all of July. <laughs> Very busy, man. I'm working on a cruise ship. If we um, get the limoncello out for the last. What are you doing on the cruise ship? <sighs> Various men. That's how I get on the cruises. <laughs> Dancing. Yeah. I. Uh, We've got some limoncello here, you know. I'm oh, fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Been burnt before. Stick to the ad stuff. <laughs> Stop trying to fuck him. <laughs> but yeah, give us how many? 10 million likes? 15 10 million? million What's please. the normal? What's the if normal? we get... One billion views on this episode. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It feels like a, a pretty redundant sort of target, doesn't it? If we get less than a billion, we won't do it. And we're going to do it anyway, aren't we? No. Are we not? What's a normal like target? Come on. 
give us likes. We're going likes. Like. Which you usually get and then just add some more. 275 and then one twat goes, dislike. Yeah, we don't, no one really uh, uh, gives Let's us. Let's check how many we got on an episode from like a month ago. We'll just check on the last Stephen Charles episode. And then put a number on top of it. A thousand. <coughs> a thousand likes and we do a lock-in. With Stephen. Please like it. Me liver burns. I really want... If, you, if you're a fan of Stephen and you want to see him get pissed up in this room... Well, press that so that, that one's got 1.3 thousand likes. Well, 1,300. More. So 2,000 likes. Yeah, 2,000 likes. 2,000 likes and we'll do it. 2,000. We we'll, stick a, we'll stick a lot. Oh, it's not called. It's post-pandemic piss up. Post-pandemic piss up. Or the... Lock-in. Liquor lock-in. Oh, nice. Liquor with a Q. Wow. See you work in the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah big time. You all right, Adam? <laughs> End of epidemic. It's a pandemic. El de bevies. I think he's gone mental. <laughs> End of epidemic. El de bevies. Yeah, that's the one. I thought it said elderberries. Elderberries. <laughs> End of epidemic. Weird elderberries. <laughs> Wicked. And if you want to sponsor that episode, drop yeah. us yeah. yeah. Yeah, get in touch. Heineken or Budweiser. Or, or elderberries. <laughs> <laughs> or a Patron. Oh, if Patron want to sponsor the episode. Or Grey Goose. Yes. Or Carlsberg. Or Glenn's. <laughs> Skull. Any White Lightning. Lafroig. Got some questions. <laughs> Got some questions. <laughs> this one's from Steve. It says... Uh, can, can you please turn that telly off? Oh, yes. Yeah, because I'm just looking at Draymond <laughs> Weatherby, looking confused by the studio. <laughs> uh, it says, hello, Aruni. Yo, lads, need a wee bit of help, so I'd appreciate if you kept my name out of it. Thank you. But it's your pod. I'm trying, it's not really from Steve. That was a bit of a jokes. <laughs> but, a jukes. It's, but it's your pod. So do what you want. But my problem is I broke up with my other half about six months ago. And at first it was all good. But now I've started putting myself back out there. And my tiny Tom isn't growing. He's staying tiny. It worked with her but before. Uh, before but now it doesn't. Any help would be appreciated. You and need some... Viagra. Anonymous has got uh, nervous. No, do you know what it is? He only has sex with people he loves. Wow, it's beautiful. Are you That's trying to score is. points with Serica while doing this podcast? <laughs> I'm just saying, it doesn't work with randomers because he has to have a connection with them. Can he, he have a self spaff? He needs to get a connection and before they get a boner. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Proper shaggy, you aren't you, Carl? <laughs> yeah, get off Tinder, lad. Get on eHarmony. I really want you to. That's our advice. I really want you to fuck me in my. <laughs> Carl's like, I can't. I don't love you. <laughs> Maybe one day I will. Let's spend time together. Get to know each other. Fall in love. And then I'll fuck the shit out of you. No, I'm saying because he's been in a long relationship, he's linking the emotions of the act. He's not just separating the act. He might just have a broken dick. No. Do you think he's not just got a nervous willy? What do you think, Stephen? Um. <coughs> I agree with Carl because Thank it you. makes sense. Sorry. Yeah. No jokes over this side. Logic corner over here. Yeah, well, that was the point of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sorry, sorry. He, he needs to introduce uh, toys, a lot of S&M stuff. It's hard to do that on a first date. <laughs> <laughs> you're going about it wrong, Adam. You stood there. She thinks you're holding a curtain pole up and you're like, whoa, none jokes. <laughs> I'm handcuffed to this shit gun. <laughs> There's a key on the desk. <laughs> Nunchucks. I'll they are sexy. I'll choose them in the bedroom. I've wanked to a Bruce Lee movie. Come on. <laughs> you can do something sexy with nunchucks. What? Put them, on e put them on each nipple. Or a <laughs> dual strap on. Dual dildo. Fuck off. Yeah. Dual. They all oh, double ended. They all double ended. Yeah, you could put one of them up an arse and one of them in a pussy. <laughs> Oh, we needed we needed the motion now. <laughs> I wasn't there until you did that. You know what I mean? Oh. Bombing and fucking at the same time. What position she's laying in there? She needs to be so to. sexy. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. She was laying on her side there, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you aren't they isn't it one for her, one for him? Yeah, that was the idea. I thought that was it. I thought it was like a sexy lady in the tramp thing. You've not read the packet. Where you, Adam. Oh <laughs> where your bum holes come together. Your bum holes come together like <laughs> dirty like the spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the... And, uh, and if you're gay, you meet balls. Because <laughs> your balls meet. Fuck off. Newton's cradle. <laughs> I thought it was for two women. Ooh. That you, that you love. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'd have this threesome, but I only love one of you. Sorry, <laughs> ladies. Mandy, let's get to know each that other. Is, you're taking the pit. That is a thing, though, isn't it? Some people can only get erect if, if they've got, like, genuine feelings for someone. You know what I mean? And if he's been in a long-term relationship, then he's accustomed to it. Would make sense. So, like, he, he's probably a young man, if he listens to our pod. You know, our demographic is quite young. Um, Don't worry about it, lad. Just get yourself back on the fucking saddle. So, and, and, and it genuinely, it's obviously it's horses for mm. horses, isn't it? Horses for horses. But um, a lot of people will go the other way and be like, it, once you've been in a, a relationship for a long time, the excitement goes out of it, and it can all get a bit flaccid. Not mm. talking about myself. <laughs> Not talking about myself here. What's that book? And then, there, Dan? and then in in with a new relationship, it's all exciting, and that's when your dick goes pow. pow. What's the book you've got? Someone sent you a book, didn't he? Yeah, someone sent me a book. What, have you got a favourite one Because yet? my wife had a kid six weeks ago, so I've now got Position of the Day Playbook. Ooh, sexy. What's on page 69? What's on page 69? Page 69. You've missed an open Guess goal Guess what? You've missed an open goal. No, it's not, pa- it's not page numbers. It's days. It's day days si- of the year. Day 69, then. What day, day this year? No, days of the year. So what's your birthday? 24th of February. Okay. So your birthday position is the Mustang Sally. Obviously. Love that. Yeah. Big it's a classic. Time. I was actually conceived using the Mustangs. Sally. What do I have to do? What's oh, the, the adult show and tell doesn't look easy, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's trying to get him to tap out. It literally looks like... <laughs> Turn it round for the viewers. It literally looks like he's trying to scissor it. <laughs> fucking hell. The Mustang Sally looks that. fucking great. The Mustang Sally looks good. You do now. the crab and I'll not break your spine. Just have a look at that Mustang Sally. Hang on. Which way is he face? Oh, he's facing oh, upwards. Facing up. yeah. I thought she was just riding him like an horse. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Mustang. You recognise that from breakdancing classes. <laughs> Steve, what's your birthday, birthday Stephen? Uh, July the 9th. Uh, Eight, a week after my girlfriend. Oh, we could Stephen. do a drink party. We could do. Oh, that's not Lockdown locking and bring her in. Yeah. Same year as me. Um, mud. <laughs> the mud flapper. Yes, when she's not washed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you close the curtain. <laughs> she's been to a festival. <laughs> I think it is a festival. Um, January 11th. Are you getting tickets for Mudflapper? <laughs> that much 29th of December. Oh, right. Is that Sarah Kiss? Well, that's not your. You're, 30, you're 15th of March, aren't you? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, the 29th of December. Well, whose is that? <laughs> it doesn't matter, no. It really doesn't. Because you thought, thought that was my yours. birthday? No, it's me mum's. <laughs> Carl, I'm, yes! I'm really sorry. It's the dog on the chair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's oh just a picture God. of your mum sat I, down. I, I, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll, 24th of May. That's my mum's. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, if this is called like the grave oh, or something. What, 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 what? The grave or the empty bottle. 24th of May. 24th of May. The special K. Ooh. Oh, she was into drugs. Um, March 15th is mine. Oh, gee. Oh, gee, gee. The weekend at Bernie's. Wow. <laughs> What's going on there? I <laughs> don't the even know. It's a reverse wheelbarrow where your dick goes in her and then she holds your legs and you walk around the room. <laughs> Not seen that in the film. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the the upper body strength you need for dinner is served. Yeah. I'm assuming there's a table there. I, I hope I've so. done that. Yeah? And you're not David Blaine. <laughs> Finn, what, what, what? This has been fire. Well done. Who, who, good, good work, Carl. Yeah, it's my job. 23rd of September. 23rd of September. When's your mum's? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's 23rd of September. Some of these. The Excellent. Oh, that's fucking boring. That's one of them when you love each other, isn't it? Yeah. Just facing each other this like. This fella would love that. You're dead nice. <laughs> <laughs> 11th of January. Nice. 11th of Jan. Who is it? Is? Is it yours? The boot liquor. <laughs> what the fuck's going on there? Is she just sucking me foot? Yeah. Tell you what, I've got another one you can check. The 27th of December. That's the day me nan died. Oh. What was she doing? Doing we'll find out. <laughs> oh, it's the black gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what she would have wanted. <laughs> That's not a position. <laughs> you can die from it. Yeah. The everything's going to be all right. <laughs> it's fucking not. Oh. She died an hour later. Can you just check we've not fucked the autofocus doing yeah. that? Oh, oh, fuck me. Oh. Well, 
Yeah, so just get some Viagra, chill out. Just have a Bev. Have four limoncello. Don't have a bev. You'll that be on it. Help, does it? It might. No. No. Viagra and uh, maybe because I imagine he's writing in because he can't get up with them, but he's still he's still have a little selfie sometimes, isn't he? So when you get back to her house, run to the bathroom and just start yourself off. Have a little wank and then go back and fuck up with it. Yeah. <laughs> Run in the house when she opens the door. Run upstairs, have a wank, and then run down and start checking it. <laughs> There's your advice. Just run round with the direction in the house. Solid. Um, fighting talk. Craig Jones says, Yo, fuck faces. Never wrote in before, but love watching your pod. I've just been a tramp ass and haven't paid my Patreon yet. I'll get it sorted. This one is for Dan as I think he would punish Adam, Carl, and Finn. Yes. I read this one. Out of the three, Dan, which one would you rather fight? Remembers, <laughs> remember, sorry, love. Remember, Adam's eye is on a right angle, so we would be punching <laughs> air. <laughs> Fucking hell. Finn. A right angle? <laughs> Finn and I, like he's going to like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where he is. Finn. <laughs> Finn. Finn, I don't think, would have the anger in him to hurt anyone. I think Carl would be your biggest problem. Have a good week, lids from Craig. You dirty. No, I slags. reckon Finn, right? It when he snaps, snaps. Mm. I reckon Finn has got this side to him where he starts like <laughs> fucking making mans. <laughs> no, I, w- I think he'd really have to. Fuck you got to include Stephen in the question, by the way. So it's the, between the four. So of us. who would I most like to fight? Yeah, like, to. like not. And, and this isn't in about this isn't about our working relationship. Like you know, no. this is just about who steps up. Fight. I've just been watching Fight Club yeah. while yeah. feeding my to my it. baby. Going, this is fucking great. You got to put us all in order, right? So you, who would you like first round knockout? You'd smash their head in. I <laughs> would <laughs> least like to fight. Carl, because you two are so eggy with each other. I've seen like the rate he plays football, like his legs are sturdy. You know what I mean? He's got these, I feel like he's not in bad shape. Yeah. He's sneaky tall. You are as well. Carl is the all rounder. I don't want to have to deal with. Now, Adam is my next. I don't want to fight him because I think, he might have an asthma attack at some part of the combat, but his head's big. Like, that is... You know what I mean? Like, I feel like... But, and I've also seen his rage, and it is real. No, he just doesn't want to lose either. Yeah, so. but I, I genuinely... I think I think Adam is... I'll bite your dick off before I tap out. Yeah. I think I've let <laughs> we'll myself down. Like yeah. <laughs> I've let myself down if my dick is out. Like most <laughs> medical doctors, don't have your dick out. <laughs> at an appointment or in a fight how are you doing in the fight with Adam dad a few to the head I took him to the body and then he bit my dick off <laughs> I was with my fault really. I should have been gone I should have been gone it? yeah uh, so Adam I don't fancy fighting Adam again he's five foot nine but he looks like he shouldn't be <laughs> Stephen like he shouldn't be Stephen he's played the beta role but he does go to the gym doesn't he and Finn is like he's he's got a nice temperament but Taller I think he's me. got a big dick. So he's, he's got, got the, some of that Finn's big dick got energy. The range, one. He's a tall kid. With his dick. With his dick. Yeah. yeah. The range finder. Yeah. Have you ever been in a fight, Finn? Can you have the mic? No. Have you uh, never been in no, a fight? No, I, I used to go boxing, though, if that helps. Right. So change the list. <laughs> Badminton, is it? New list. I've been boxing. I was in a boxing fight once with Elliot Steele for Chelsea. I, I know. <laughs> we all know. <laughs> we definitely know. I've seen the pictures. You're still not the one I want to fight least. Do you want to slide it in now? Do you want to do the links to the four episodes we've talked about it on? Um, how, what boxing did you do? What boxing? Yeah. No, I mean, no. Like, was Kick it just boxing, a... boxing, boxing, Thai boxing, hot boxing. boxing. Hot boxing. Oh, yeah. It was, it was just regular old boxing. At what age? Uh, I was, old I did it, boxing. I did it two different times. So I did it from like 10 till 13 pensions. and then I did it <laughs> 17 to 19. You boxed at a boxing club between the years 17 and 19. Yeah. I I never sparred or anything. I just went boxing training. I don't want to fight Finn. Shadow box now to prove it. (laughs) Stephen, have you ever had a fight? Yeah. I've. I can't believe none of you have ever had a fight. You know, I was fucking (sighs) banging people in my youth, mate. Quite nice to people. 
I was also a coward. Have you ever, have you ever obviously, you know, we've <laughs> we've all seen you be started on, and it <laughs> did very well. Um, have you never had any fight? I think Steve, I'm going to fight Steven. He's yeah. going to be my, uh, no offence, mate, but you've, you might be, in, you, like, you're not in bad shape, and you might be an absolute ninja, but you're not coming across as that ninja. That's and not I don't, game, tr- Finn's lovely, but he's like, yeah, yeah, I've never had a fight, but I have trained for fighting at yeah. five non-consecutive years of my life. Am I a gobshite then? What? Am I just a massive got Your sound, I'm going to fight you. Carl, number one, massive gobshite. Do you know what I mean, Adam? I don't think you want to fight Carl, do you? Me and Adam would never fight. Um, unless it, I fought you. Yeah, but, but we'd never we'll come to blows. It's fair yeah. bull jousting, isn't it? Yeah. You'd, yeah. you'd have me in a fight, but I've got the strongest legs. <laughs> have you got good legs? Right. I've got quite strong legs because it's keeping up all of this, do you know what I mean? That's, <laughs> I, was, I was a fat kid, so... Were that's, you? That's what I think. Yeah, but I'm still people. a fat man. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I went wrong, Dan. <laughs> I quit the game. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Should have kept the weight on. You'd have phenomenal strong legs. That's how it works. Yeah, if I was going to pick it, I'd fight you all on the same night, one after the other. <laughs> yeah. In between rounds. Just Royal Rumble. Can we tag in? That'd be amazing. Yeah, sure. But, but you do know what I mean about Carl. You wouldn't want to fight Carl, would you? It, it, of everyone in this room, and I mean, no disrespect to anyone, but he's the one I would I, who would probably cause me the most damage <laughs> on the way to me punching his head in. Would you bite his dick off? <laughs> on the way. <laughs> he's hit me on the way, but I'm still pumped. Sometimes I get hit in the surprise, nose Surprise, surprise, uh, listeners and viewers. Adam thinks he'd Stephen be great in a talking. fight. Sorry, go on. Stephen was saying things. Go on, sorry, Stephen. He's come all the way. Fight now, Daniel. <laughs> right. He's come all the way in an Uber. Yeah. Took him ages to get one because it's Eid. He went the wrong way. Because <laughs> he, he's celebrating the end of Ramadan. You love it, aren't you? That's how he did Yes, He does it every year. Celebrates with a coffee patron. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank God. Thank God Ramadan's over. Let's crack out the thank fucking God, coffee liqueur. Say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Praise in Jesus. Own, in their own language, they say thank God. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah. When I get hit on the nose, that's, that's me out. You know, when the football the that hits you in the nose, yeah. my eyes are streaming. That's uh, everyone though, isn't it? Yeah. No one takes a ball to the face and it's like, nice one, let's crack on. <laughs> no, but you take a punch to the face in a fight and then... Well, I've, I've only been punched when I was like 10. That was by my cousin. So. Right. He's from Heighton. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Heighton, Heighton, two dogs fighting. One's a black and one's a white. I didn't oh, fall that's down a there. racist rhyme, isn't it? <laughs> it is, we, yeah. We did an old racy rhyme. <laughs> That's why Heighton's called Two Dogs. Two Dog. Fucking hell. If I was if I was you, I'd I'd want to fight me first because I'm a bit of a fanny. You would tickle her. Uh, no, uh, I'm probably a pick up a weapon and batter them. But oh, he's a weapon user. Yeah, I'm not above using a weapon. No, we know that Uzi. No, but like in all seriousness, like depends on the situation. Like if it's a straightener and it's just going to be this fight, then no. But if someone's being a bit of a sly cunt. And there's a fucking axe or something just there. <laughs> just, just lying around. So well, this, this fight has to be in your bedroom then? Yeah, or in my bedroom. Or in B&Q. <laughs> or an axe warehouse. I love those. <laughs> Wasn't that on There's te- too many these days, isn't there? Like Wasn't te- or anywhere te- near Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> throw an axe. That guy said he can't throw a punch, but he can throw a fucking <laughs> axe, apparently. Hang on, you'd use an axe in a fight. Yeah, but I wouldn't, like, go for the head. Legs. What, but what fight would there be an axe to hand, honestly? That's the problem, <laughs> isn't it? You're saying you would use a weapon, but you haven't got a weapon. Maybe in the middle of the woods and you start fighting with a someone lumberjack. who's trying to stop yeah. you chopping a tree. The council, come over. And they're like, fucking stop chopping that tree down. They're and rounding, aren't they, as well? Yeah. Got a fucking permit. And he's like, shove your permit up your ass. You honestly. <laughs> If you see those walls, because he, he gets a knife out and he's like, "I'll fucking stab you if you don't." Put, <laughs> but if you work for the council, down. if you work for the council and you're in charge of telling people to stop chopping trees down, you should definitely have had some training about how to fight people with axes. Yeah, because it's definitely part <laughs> yeah. of the risk why of the job. Why has he got a knife? <laughs> Bad person. Oh, right. Delamere Ranger. He his feet to be cut off. <laughs> a Delamere Ranger. <laughs> Sounded so much cooler. Not sure that, that's how they saw for, like forestation debate, debates, axe knife fights. <laughs> I'm not saying they happen often. No, but I'm if, saying if I was involved in one, you'd have an axe to hand. I'd, I'd use it if I needed to. Fair to defend myself. Give me protection axe. <laughs> Self defense axe. Defense. The thing is, if if you're fighting me as well, I wouldn't really care. It's people around me. I'm a lot more protective of. 
but me. I genuinely don't want to fight you. Fight me, Dan. <laughs> right, if we get 3,000 likes... <laughs> After Me the lock in. I'm not joking. We'll end the lock in with a fight. That would be so brutal if we rented out a boxing club and it was me and Stephen Trice, a really in shape 25 year old and a fat 40 year old. Do you yeah. know, it does sound good. Yeah. I think you're definitely, to be honest. Do you know, really successful YouTubers usually fight boxers, but you get to fight less successful YouTubers. <laughs> Stephen wants Floyd Mayweather. Well, he's got Dan Nightingale. <laughs> Not even the good one from the podcast. Um, you are the good one. Only, no, <laughs> thanks, babe. I know, I know. He's my axe. Um, <laughs> uh, this is from uh, Pete. Can you keep this anonymous? Please? No, uh, this is from Anonymous. Hi, Lids. Got a bit of a problem. My new missus is an OnlyFans girl and wants me to get involved in her content. I'm not really arsed with the public exposure risk of it, but the money is shite, so I'm on the fence. My main problem is my ex, who is in a group chat with me and my mates. F leave that group chat. Hasn't taken me getting a new missus too well and a screenshot out of context jokes by my mates to be vindictive. Am I being dense or am I right to be worried that if I go halves on the content shit that she'll somehow find out and use that as well? Love the pod. But seeing as the ex listens, not a patron, the fucking rat, I'd like to be kept anonymous while well, you can be. Well, it's from Gareth. Um, mm. <laughs> so, I, what I want to know is I thought OnlyFans was just sort of a very basic. <laughs> Here's me tits, gives a quid. Right? <laughs> no, that's a woman round the back that's of Red Nose Day. <laughs> <laughs> round the back of Aldi. Uh, <laughs> I that's what it was. That was just basically. Was. Hey! There. So <laughs> you'd make a great OnlyFans girls. <laughs> All right, there's me tit. Here's a quid. Two quid. <laughs> Get you me bum all. <laughs> Slutty pudsy. Yeah. No. Fiver. I'll but do it every it, day for a month. Doing? Is he gonna be like shagging her, probably? What's he gonna be doing? Shagging her. <laughs> Shadow boxing. <laughs> is it shagging it? Mm. Yeah. Well, I thought it's mainly pictures. No, they do oh, the videos, videos as well. Oh, do they? <laughs> I mean, so he's going to be like, coming on and on and Probably. You should direct it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on and on that. Here's me tits a quid. Adam, Adam goes from, like, ch child talking about sex, like, show it her boobies for 50p. <laughs> Only fans is like, uh, I've got boobies and 50p, and that's where raspberry juice comes from. <laughs> Oh, he's fucking her. What, like jizzle in the face? Like, it's like way too quick up the like gross scale. Get the nunchucks gone. <laughs> Spaffing an eye. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I, I mean, it is quite the move, isn't it? Like, we've just got together and we love to do things together. Like, I like, you know, you know he likes dog walking, but I want you to do my OnlyFans with me. Like, it's quite a th an ask, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is a lot to ask. I couldn't do it personally. No! <laughs> Would you do OnlyFans? Give fans? you six weeks. I reckon you'd be great. What? Would you do OnlyFans on your own? What do you mean? Like if I was single? Yeah. Would you do OnlyFans? Or just get me dick out now? I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> and you probably have to do more than that than just get your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll say this about OnlyFans. I'll say this. Okay. <clears throat> Go on. I uh, I support that it's you know it's a it's a, a really good use of the internet for ladies to uh, reclaim the power of their own bodies to make money from their own bodies on their own terms. I think it's very good. And I think if you want to put pictures of your fella coming all over your face all over the internet, more power to you. So I think he's got every right to go, just use PVA glue. Yeah. yeah. PVA. I'm I. <laughs> I'm not asked. Steve, would you do OnlyFans? Not a chance, no. No? Um, yeah, I, I, I think if I was him... I'd so I'd say no, thank you. Uh, and plus, the, the, the ever guy, polite. <laughs> the guys want to see, madam. I decline. <laughs> <laughs> if it's shite with her, isn't it just going to be still shite with him? I mean, I'm not like that is such a slam dunk. My missus wants me to do OnlyFans with me, and you're like, no, like, but it still freaks me out. They're like, we're in a group chat, and my yeah, ex girlfriend's in the group chat. Off. I mean, that that's the big problem, mate. Yeah, depends on what the group chat is. Though. If that's just all of his mates in here then first of all, it's a good job he's got rid of her because that's me that red flag. Because <laughs> that's like, why are you talking to your friends? The girl, want to have a little look at that. Um, right, yeah. 
she if we're in to, love, I need to be in every WhatsApp group with you. She needs to remove yeah, herself so. from that group. I'm I'm really pro OnlyFans. Just get your get your You've dudes distracted out. them now. What? You've distracted them. Yeah. Um I I think OnlyFans is great. Do whatever. Do whatever you want. But don't expect your boyfriend to do it with you. For Christ's sake. But yeah, if you've got an ex-girlfriend who's a numpty, don't get your knob out and slap it on your new girlfriend's cheeks. My like, ah, how's this ever getting or back to her? Get a cut of the money. If he's getting a cut, you know, pandemic, everyone's struggling a bit. You know what I mean? Get a bit of money from that. And wear a mask so no one knows it's you. <laughs> yeah. And then when all your mates are like, have you seen your... Fa-? Just be like, yeah, I'll let her do it with another fella. I can't be arsed, but in your head, you're like, yeah, that's my dick. Wear a morph suit. <laughs> if any of you lot do OnlyFans, we are going to drop it in just here. Like, yeah, I paid for OnlyFans just to watch my mate embarrass themselves with their new girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. I'd be in. Is it is OnlyFans, it's different price for different... Like can, It's like our Patreon. You can yeah, choose, yeah, you, you yeah, can choose their them. own price. Yeah. 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 Jan's 40 pence a month. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. This is essential. Like, the Patreon's essentially a comedy only fans, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. People pay to see extra content. Maybe we've got a 20 pounds here where we all get our dicks out. Every episode? Just like a third, like an extra camera under each table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just you know see I mean? a bit of piss. You get, you get that, Eddie. Do you know how disturbing that would be to actually <laughs> sell some of those tears? We'd and be like, ah, we're we going to do it. <laughs> And then when you were like four in, you'd be like, oh, this joke feels weird now. Because <laughs> there's four people going, go on then. Well, I've got to keep cutting to a random person's dick. With yeah. No reason. <laughs> well, no, that edit would just be whenever that person's talking, you focus on their dick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so oh, everyone then always knows, so oh, that's learn, Carl's dick. I'd have to learn what your dicks look like. Yeah. yeah. You'd know. We'd label the cameras Adam's dick. And that's Adam's why we've got 4K Carl's Carl's cameras. Dick. Yeah. Oh. Uh, do that. Let's have do a uh, have a mind, word <laughs> yeah. and get the fuck out of here. It's time to have a word. I've got one about a girlfriend, but I feel like we've done a lot of girlfriendy stuff. We'll save that for next week. So, all right, there. <laughs> what is that? Acanthus, dandelion, carnation, and foxglove. I would like you to have a word regarding a sensitive matter, bullying in the workplace. Sad face. I work in a small office, only four of us in there most of the time. One of the senior members of staff just doesn't seem to like me. I've gone out of my way to make an effort, even writing a song about them and their wife. It just doesn't seem to make a difference. Oh, wait, it isn't me. It is Finn. Dan, follow the poor lad. Dan, follow the poor lad on Twitter. Thanks, Janet. Janet Roskell. Who is a lady? I fell hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, that was so deep. I mean, we all did. We're like, what are you doing? Fucking writing songs, you fucking way you come. And then we're like, oh, you did that, and we loved it. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Um, fuck you, Finn. Um, I uh, right. <laughs> Hello, Janet. Stop, stop making people sympathise with you, Finn. Grow up. Um, grow up. Yeah. Grow up. Having no involvement. And in emails stop boxing in. training. It's intimidating. I'm trying to bully you. You ever been bullied at the workplace, Stephen? Self-employed. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Stood in the mirror. <sighs> the state. You're a joke. <laughs> it's when you sexually harass yourself. That's the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Have you ever had any trouble like this in work? Like, on, on a, like if it was on the same. Well, ge- genuinely, uh, uh, Finn is a, an absolutely smashing lad. I've got a lot of time for him. He's a lovely lad. His tweets are just shite. Is I don't want to follow him or any of you, really. I don't like following people on Twitter. And one of my biggest miseries is that the Have A Word podcast Twitter has 80 people that we're following, which is low compared to a lot of things. And I, and I just get drawn into it. I'm like, I don't care what any of these people think. I just don't like being drawn into timelines. It's so, not. There you go. If you are followed by the Haverwin Twitter, I don't want. Just know you bore the shit out of Dan. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> celebrities, famous comedians, Jason Manford retweeting other podcasts. I'm like, I don't give a fuck because it's addictive. So I'm drawn in. So it's not actually the person. I love him. And your tweets are very good. Sure, Stevens are brilliant. I just don't like the timeline because I'm drawn into it. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm reading all of this. And then because it's there, I go back to it and I find myself two hours later going, yeah, I've seen all of this. I've seen all of this. And I find that to be 
just a pointless waste of time. And could you just start following as many people as possible on the Have a Word account, please? Oh, brutal. I'll just <laughs> literally, that will be me disengaging. So that it's not that I don't like Finn. It's just that I don't like having loads of people. I like One Now more. that I follow Carl, it's already in a lot. I think I'm up to six people following, and it's just too much. Do people ever comment about the relationship between you guys and say, oh, Adam's thinking this and Finn's doing that? Yeah, um, occasionally. Like, I don't know. Well, we had someone say, why doesn't Dan follow Carl? What, like, yeah, that's right. to conclusions. From. I think me and Adam have had two arguments. One was my fault, and it was in here. With the new he intern. got really pissed off, <laughs> and the new intern was in at the time. And I had to apologise, and it, it was like... <laughs> and then we were... It was really funny, because we were wrapping up the £10 Patreon posters, which is really fiddly and annoying. And we'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> so just know when you open that tube it was made with rage and I swear to god it was so tense and then I was like yeah sorry about that and then Adam was like yeah we're over it and then we had like a slight disagreement over whatsapp Yeah. when I was like mate I think that was a bit patronising and you were like yeah it was a bit patronising and then later on you rang me and went sorry about that <laughs> like considering we've done this much podcasting we've not f f like it like we take the piss like I don't know it's but just but I think I'm quite fair with stuff like that I, I like if I'm in the right like, I do sort of enjoy the fact that I can get angry and be like, I'm right, and I know I'm right, so you can all fuck off. But if I'm in the wrong, I do like to think I'm quite good at going, you know what? But you also need to be able to do that if you're in the right. Why? You don't have to go, I'm you the winner! No, no, no. I don't, no. I don't do that. When he, when he was like, I was wrong, no, I go, no. I, I, I'm like, yeah, sound, let's forget about it and move on immediately. But sometimes... I don't like... Walk around with a belt, do I? Like you would, yeah! you would, you absolutely. No, your general demeanor and how you are with people is abrasive, because you give less fucks than normal people, but you are actually quite sound with it. I try and be all busy with everyone, but in in the end, I get internal like, ng -ng 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 -ng, and yep. that's not healthy. That's yep, not a good way to be. Win in your head, because I'm like that. Just like yeah, leave it. It's fine, and yeah. then but you're like, no, I won. No, I don't do that. No, oh, let's no. go. Also, you two don't count because you're right fucking eggy little sisters with each other. <laughs> Stephen, what are you like with the guys you work with? Everyone, because th this is a team of guys yeah. that you've worked with for ages. Do you have disagreements or is it all sound or? I think Stephen shyly behind closed doors is like uh, a mafia boss. Yeah. And yeah, he's yeah. just like, yeah, you fucked that up, didn't you? Yeah, they all Cunt. fear him. And then he answers the phone. He's like, yeah, Stephen, beat a male. You know, just yeah, yeah. pottering about, being dead sound and... What am I like for limoncellos? <laughs> but I'll fucking. So who he is? He's a Professor Quiddle. Yeah. Oh. Is, is and then behind his foot, which one? He's on the Voldemort on the back of his head. He's, oh fuck, mate, <laughs> Stephen. He's literally the worst one. <laughs> it's such a dig. You're Quirrell. No, you know you can see turns at the start. You're like, oh, I'm a little nice fella, and at the end he's horrible. Yeah. What, what are you like with the with the crew? Um, I'm okay because the the only thing is I've I've got despite the podcast failings I've got high standards. Um, so, if they're not doing stuff, then I'll get on to them. I like my mate, my mate Max. He works for me pretty much full time, although for tax reasons he doesn't. And um, <laughs> he, uh, he's a freelancer. He's doing charity work. <laughs> he's doing a five year internship. <laughs> he he's like, he's good. And then if he makes a mistake, I can be quite like, oh, I'll do this, do this, do this. So I'm not great at communicating it. Um, but it, in general, I think we're okay. But yeah, I can get fed up quite easily. Yeah, because yeah. you, 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 you know what it wants to be. You know what you, you high standards is important. You need it to be to look and feel like you want to look. Yeah, just don't, you just don't want to be Ellen DeGeneres going. Yeah, I'm everyone's friend. <laughs> I'm like hey, America's lesbian sweetheart, and then behind the scenes you're like, I will fucking end you. Been cancelled, like, you know. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. It's not, she's not cancelled, no, like is it's it? It's finished. She like basically nearly got cancelled, and then she was like, oh, big apology, and she did it to camera, like, yeah. oh, turns out I've been a bit of a twat to people. And then one season into that, it just doesn't stick, because everyone's like, you're a fucking bully. Yeah. yeah. And now it's, now mean, it's coming to an end. I've, I've heard, I don't know whether we're allowed to say this, I've heard James Corden's the male Ellen. Oh, Apparently. Yeah. He's a bit of a dick. Because... Do you know, like, James Corden gets a really bad rap, don't he? Everyone seems to hate him. And I've never really known why. Because uh, as, as much as he's a bit of a, like, goofball, like, Gavin and Stacey, which he wrote, is brilliant. I think, in Luke general, Jones. he tries to come across as sound. And I've always been like, why does everyone hate him? What's the, what's the big you, beef with James Corden? Have you seen the, uh, the award show where he's with Patrick Stewart? 
That's awful. Oh, that's, that is. That's no. really, I really cringy to watch. That's from a few years ago, yeah, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Is when he was on, like about ten years ago. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. What does he do? It, They're just having a go at each other. But in Patrick front of Stewart everyone. is Patrick oh. Stewart is not entertained by James Corden. Yeah. He makes uh, it. He's he's bad for it, isn't he? Because he, he makes the point of it at the start about James Corden the way he stood, and then they sort of just go after each other. It's that really forced fake smiling in front of everyone whilst they're being aggressive to oh, each other. Oh, I think I do remember that, actually, yeah. James Corden, like, he is massively popular. But if you talk to people from our sort of industry, it's like, Meh. I think it's just because he's on so much. Yeah. Like, there's, there's, there's a po- there was a point a few years ago where you couldn't put anything on without James Corden popping up. And then he's the fucking mouse Trevor in the McDonald's Gruffalo. He, ten. he wasn't always on that. He could have just put that on. And he's, uh, yeah. he's Peter Rabbit as well. Babe Station. Not that one. But he's Peter Rabbit. He's fucking Gr- Gruffalo. He's, on, he's got his own show. And in the end, you're like, just turn th- one thing down, James. Yeah. I don't know if that was. pisses you off. <laughs> what about Attenborough? Oh, Street on Emmerdale. Joey Attenborough? Smashing this, lads. Um, Loving it. Loving it. I love it when he gets pissed off. <laughs> love, love, I, love it. I, I've always loved Anton Deck, but I do think, you know, he's uh, got a bit of damage to himself. But I think, because obviously we're talking about the car crash thing that he was in and, you know, drink driving and that, and it's never a good look. But, <laughs> I, like, on a slightly serious <laughs> note, I am quite forgiven of people going through a really awful time in their life making a couple of mistakes. But, you know what I mean? And I think people are because they go, yeah, all right. It, it's diff- it's di- it's not ideal, is it, being an alcoholic and maybe drink driving? But it's not you're a cunt. It's not you're a bully. Well, like yeah. if someone's been a, a bully over the course of 10, yeah, 15 years, thing. everyone has a bit of sympathy. Like, yeah, you fucked up, but that's part of the human experience. And it's weird, really, isn't it? Because Ant McPartland could have killed someone, could have killed an innocent person. Ellen DeGeneres isn't going to kill someone by being an arsehole backstage. Well, Ellen's seen as irredeemable, and 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 I'm 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 exactly what I'm talking about because I feel the same way. She's obviously a gobshite. Aunt McPartland is probably dead sound at a bad time, but what he did is actually more dangerous. She's made herself out. I think she's got this image of being perfect and giving away cars to everyone and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Whereas Aunt's just uh, yeah, one of the lads down the pub. Yeah. In the car. Yeah, you can't try and be the new Oprah. <laughs> And it turns out yeah. you're a nasty piece of work that's been making yeah. people's lives hell behind the scenes. That's why these YouTubers get cancelled because they've got this great perception of what they're like and then you find tweets from them years ago and they've said this horrible thing and it completely contrasts with who they are or who they make Yeah, that's why we're just be. cunts every episode. This is yeah. it. Because then people are like, you were a cunt then. And we're like, yeah, we always are. That's why we make our money. My <laughs> tweets years ago were a lot nicer. <laughs> 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 you and no, Dan. Whatever. <laughs> Well, I'll follow you and go back. <laughs> Chicken connoisseur. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, uh, pod. Pod? Yeah. Pod. I love it how he slagged off James Corden there. Why? I just thought it was a really good, like, great moment. Like, who should we take down? Come on. So, I've just heard, it. allegedly, there's rumours that he's a bit of a fucking... There you go. I've heard it. I've heard the story where he's... There were, someone's on a first-class flight to America or whatever, and, um, and they're like, oh... James Gordon was on the flight and uh, a woman gets on with a baby next to him and it's crying and he they were expecting James Gordon to kick off and he didn't say a word, just uh, kept himself to himself for the whole flight and at the end, <laughs> turns out, uh, the baby and the, the mother were his wife and kid. <laughs> and he just blanked them, <laughs> blanked them for the whole journey. <laughs> <laughs> what a story that is. <laughs> <laughs> I literally thought you were going to say and James Corden punched the baby in the face. <laughs> Allegedly. Can the Peter Rabbit stay up on the wall? It's so cute. It's going to piss a lot of people off, but... Uh, I can find the, I can find the place, can Hey-ho. I, d- I didn't get the controversy there. It's Peter Rabbit. It looks like a safe rabbit if it's in the hands of Peter. If it this looks like it's in a crate that mushrooms were transported in about 12 hours before. <laughs> is that what its name is? Woof. Um, if this Woof. video gets 2,000 likes... We will do a lock in with Stephen Trice. <laughs> with that rabbit. With that <laughs> rabbit. Get <Good> awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, join my mailing list at adamrow.co.uk and sign up to the Patreon at patreon.com slash have a pod. You get an extra episode a week. You get early access to these public ones. And uh, if you've got this far Congrats. and uh, you've enjoyed it and it's Monday still, then there's still some tickets left for Adam Rowe and Friends Late Show at Hot Wars Comedy Club tomorrow. Oh, yeah. That's what we meant to do, wasn't it? I'm probably going to record a, a video and put it right at the front of the episode. 
Uh, could you go and have a look at my other YouTube show, Show Me The Sample, at Show Me The Sample. Stephen, where can we find you? Um, YouTube, please. Uh, Stephen Tries Podcast. Shit. That's where you're moving everything to. Doesn't post on the other one. No. He's in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. They them. know what they've done. They do. And they're, they're, you know, they're going to rue the day. Yeah. <laughs> that they... Uh, Woof, my lawyer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woof. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs>